Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and your newest airlines. Hey, He's back! Hey guys, He's good recovered. to be back. He's recovered. Yay! Recovered from insanity. Yes. <laughs> it happens. It happens sometimes. Hey, you know, buddy. life gets busy, life gets off track, and you just have to chill for a bit. And injuries are part of life. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately they are. We are not infallible uh, uh, human beings, and uh, things happen. Right, cats? Right? Except, unless you're a cat, then you're infallible. Yeah, they've got so many lives. They just keep on ticking, don't you? Yeah, you're excited for the show, too. Today. <laughs> Erlen with, with beard. beard. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a shock, right? I, had a, you have had a, <laughs> had a beard for a long time, right? I did, When's I'm the all, last time you've not had a beard? Maybe 20 like 11 oh, <laughs> 2012 okay there you go <laughs> we're, we're he's always had one for as, a long the time second I, the second i could grow it i was like this is it. this is happening <laughs> it's working yeah and i also just, just knew that i was gonna go bold sooner rather than later so i was like let's get used to this let's just like <laughs> let's solidify just go in go all in right now yeah right? I, I don't want one of those guys just clinging to my hair you know <laughs> oh it's going yeah I, there's so many guys who spend just like extraordinary amounts of money and time and it goes whole, anyway like who gives a shit yeah. So I, uh, yeah, we're all, you know, in the future, we're going to evolve to have no hair at all. Yeah, we'll be, yep. we'll yep. be androgynous. <laughs> That's right. Hairless Just beings. Hairless beings. That plug yeah. into the metaverse. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're almost halfway there now. Did right? you heard about the Elon Musk thing? Uh, the it was first a brain neuro... transplant thing. No, the first this... neural link went into this guy I who was into oh my it god too much is wild. Yeah. He, he like because it was this guy who basically was a quadriplegic, and so he was like, "I'll I have nothing to lose. Oh. I'll be the first. And so they no, I did watch a video. Yeah, on that. and they impl implanted it in, and apparently he was able to then play Civilization Six. <laughs> and so that's he all just, he wanted. So he just and he hung out and said he played just Civ for like twelve hours, but he oh, said I he tell could tell Tanya that. Shit. But Love but he lo apparently he looked at the he could look at the screen and with his mind move the cursor and this is like the it's the precursor wow. towards the so this is the future we'll just be <laughs> oh like, we'll just don't even need a mouse <laughs> just like just sit there and you know play video games, games. i mean I, that's it's, that's hopeful for old age you'd be like i can't use my I can't hands use my mouse. of course a lot of your brain still has to be functional so. the, but then the problem and is your is eyes the, the, pretty soon they'll update the ios and you'll be like <laughs> no i have the old Neuralink. Uh, i can't get the newest apps uh, it's implanted and yeah and they'll be not paid. healthy enough to get the new one <laughs> There'll be ads that start playing. You'll oh, be like, pop ups everywhere. And they'll be just, they'll just be like, they'll be like, subscribe to the idea. You're like, <laughs> ding, per ding, month, ding, and ding, you're ding. like, no. Yep, you're locked in, and then and then you're just nothing without it. So, but but that's dude, it's crazy stuff's happening. Like, it's, yeah, that's the forefront of like. I also think there's a lot to figure out. <laughs> oh yeah, this is first gen. And I'm Zero pretty gen. skeptical, but isn't that crazy? There's sci-fi hey, stuff happening. If in you can our play lifetime. Sip Six, <laughs> dude, that's. That's all you need, really. Truly, that's it. <laughs> Today, we're going to be playing some Atari 2600 games, including two world premieres. Uh, the first one is we're going to be taking a look at the very first hookup of the Atari 2600 to an online multiplayer game. Oh, shit. Yes. We're going to be playing Five Card Stud using the plus cart nice interacting with the fujinet uh network using a client program made by al nefers in the chat Nefer, so he can the fill wizard in himself, oh my god dude, yes the wizard so he can fill in any blanks that i miss um and future uh, works that are going to come up with this, but we'll get to that. Uh, we also have the exclusive world premiere of Zark Stars 5 Stellar. Holy shit. We go into space. <laughs> space. And it's a two ish player game, so we can both play at the same play time nice. and man the rocket ship. And we're also going to be taking a look at a brand new Frogger game, a 4K Frogger game for the Atari 2600, which is uh, very exciting. People love Frogger. Yeah. Uh, by Splendid Nut. Um, so. Before we get into that, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who are right down there near Atari at the corner. 8-Bit Poet, Alan Lefer, Andre Atari, Amscar Coder, Atari, 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 Rules, Atari, 74, Atari, Age, Atari's Maximus, Blipsky, BR Pocock, Bruno Stex, Captain Classic, Charles Dunmel, Charles Wheel, and Chitla, Sierra Naribo, Dianoid, Danny VC, 
Daryl Knight to 70, Direct Cell, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma Dev, Gisberto, Rondinella, Great Offender, uh, Ground Trooper, Geraldo Raju, John W. Sue, Computer, Con Computer Coder, Carl G. Carecat, Croco, Developer, Lambda Express, Ma Mandy Sipping, T. Marquianas, Marks Basic, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Attell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. F Fix, Nathan Strum, Neo Media. Nostalgic Pseudographic co Co-Augur, Anti-Rights, Writer, Ghost, Repentless, VD, Retro Gaming, Raven, Tula, Ricardo, Pam, Six, Sweet, Spinny B, Spice Wars, Spinly, S. Ramirez, D-Train, Tiki, Dan, K, Trek, MD, Tweeny, Vex, Rex, Vintage, Game, Memories, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken, X, and sold to Mr. Lou. That's right. Yeah, it could be an auction. And yo, Welcome back, up. Polly Gox. Yo, yo, yo. Um, so we have a poll related to, um, mm. the game we're going to start off with, which is five card stud online using the 2600. I'm not very good at card games, but I will Neither give it a go. I. Yeah. We're, we're, it takes practice. Yeah, it does. Um, so, uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah. The poll. It is related to, um, this. So the poll is, do you have a plus card? Or a Fujinet cart. <laughs> so you you can maybe uh, you'll be able to experience this in the future or already experience this with a Fujinet cart. Um, I have both. So there we go. Yeah, I have neither. You it's have not. What? <laughs> oh my god. You got to get on I got to get my shit together. I, uh, what am I doing with my life? That's man? right. Get, they're so cool. You got Well, you also have to have the consoles as well. So oh, well, it's, it's, it's a yeah. lot that goes along with it. Uh, maybe there's a step or two before <laughs> I arrive on the FujiNet plus card. <laughs> that's right. Uh, one is, yes, both plus card and FujiNet. Two, plus card. Three, FujiNet. Or four, neither. So, um, yeah, you can uh, check out the... Uh, we're going to go over just a small portion of what you can do with both of these things. Very cool. Um, but I do plan to do a Fujinet online gaming focused show coming up. Uh, see the options. Yeah, see what could be in the future for the Atari 2600. But that is in the present for the Atari 8-bit. Uh, welcome, Atari Wardlord. Returning chatter. Oh, Dude, Warlord. Oh, oh, that's a good name. Um so, uh, mail, news, and feedback, feedback. there are uh, results for the contest, the basic 10-liner contest, oh. which we played a bunch of games the other day. These are games made in basic programming language across multiple different computers, 8-bit computers. And there were a bunch of Atari games, and we played all of them. I think there were 11 of them. So let's check out uh, the results of the voting for that. And uh, there it is. There, uh, Atari games came in in the top position. So in pure 80, they're in quite high up. Uh, number three and four in third place in the PUR 80. Uh, that's 80 characters per ten, per line for each 10 lines. Endless Roadrunner in uh, third place. And Magic Carpet Ride in fourth place. In the PUR 120. In first place, Atari 8-Bit. Gunner in second place, Fly Hunter. Uh, uh, Vitoko made a bunch of these. Vitoko made Fly Hunter. Um, and in eighth place, Bonkum. And in the extreme 256, Tetris came in first place. I, I knew it would be very high up there. Yeah. Um, it was really well done. And in second place, Chase Me. That was done by Vitoko. Very awesome game. I don't know how he fit into 10 lines. And in fifth place in the extreme two five six dunes, and in eleventh place jacks or better. Um, so congratulations to all of those uh, people who entered their games into that. We had a lot of fun playing through them. Very cool. Okay, so uh, let's get on to the main events. The first one is five card stud plus ROM FujiNet client. That sounds good. It, yeah, it's it's quite complicated. Listen, I got so. Tom Cherry Holmes from yeah. FujiNet Project to answer any questions. Oh, perfect! Is, hey, Tom, news. welcome. And hey, Fenrock. That's very very handy. So we're gonna go over first what uh, very quickly what FujiNet is. Is um, any so, relationship to Fuji cameras? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's an offshoot of Fuji cameras. <laughs> Uh, it's Fuji film is Fuji, yeah. used to. I think it's discontinued, sadly. Most film is, except for like Kodak uh, is the only. Yeah, the only guys. Couple but Fuji around. film was beautiful when it when it was around. Yeah. They make digital cameras now. So yeah. there you go. Uh, what is FujiNet? It's apparently the future of retro computing. It is pretty oh, cool. Yeah. It, in a nutshell, it gets you online with your um, 
well, in our case, Atari 8-bit computer. Uh, FujiNet is a multi-peripheral emulator and Wi-Fi network device for vintage computers. The first completed hardware was for the Atari 8-bit, which we use on the show, computers, and development has begun for other systems with the goal of supporting as many as possible. What's at FujiNet, apart from other Wi-Fi devices, is the new network device, the end device or end dev. The end device allows vintage computers that do not have enough processing power to handle TCP IP connections talk to the modern internet over Wi-Fi. Virtual adapters have been created for many protocols, including TCP, UDP, HTTP, FTP, TNFS, HTTPS, which is secure web pages, yeah. uh, SSH, Telnet, WebDAV, and JSON partner, JSON. Um, so lots of protocols that you can use to connect to other servers, other computers, transmit information back and forth, and in this case today, play games. Very nice. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. It uh, sticks into your S, uh, SIO port in the back, which is a precursor USB. It actually started on the Atari 8 Wow. Um, and yeah, you could hook up tons of different things to it. In this case, it's a pass-through device that you can connect other things through in the back of it. Just like USB, you can connect multiple things to it. Uh, FujiNet on the 8, uh, 800XL. The FujiNet project is 100% completely open source, which is always awesome to see. Software and hardware, all code. Stop it. Hardware designs are available on our GitHub. So that means you can make your own and alter it. Anyone is welcome to join us and add support for any system they want. Oh, another oh, FujiNet man. dev, FenRock uh, six. Great to have them in the chat and also oh, just to super be able handy. To... Yeah. able to see all this business Co and great that you got a Correct github me or yeah and you got a github and a discord going which is a great yes. community like um yep. services yeah and github options. so you can um check out the code download the code examine the code fork the code for adding in things all that kind of stuff um anyone is welcome to join us and add support for any system they want now, kind I mean, of Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I mean, make your requests. What a crazy thing to be like. Hey, we'll just we'll do whatever you want. Yep. We are more than willing to help where we can. The best way to get in touch with us is on our Discord server, Sorry. and there is now an Atari Twenty Six Hundred section on the on the FujiNet Discord server. I'm on there. Um, Al Nefer's on there. Al, of course. Um, so you can uh, go and check that out and help out with that. Might have to close up. Yeah, we got, we got some doing some doing some gardening out there. That's okay. Um, Atari 8-bit. It's available for. Oh, there's the other look of it for the back of it. Looks like it's on a Atari 400 there. Uh, sorry, 800. Um, right there. Yeah, is produced in small batches and when available are in the shop uh, uh, from other vendors across the globe. You can also build those, your own using design files. So they wow. also have the 3D um, STL files or whatever. So you can print your own case for it. Uh, it's also on the Apple II, as known as Fuji Apple. There it is running. You can uh, get a map of the world. And current ISS position. Wow. Uh, also available on the Coleco Atom. I did have that system at one point. It was way too big. You had to I let had it to go. Get, I had to let it go. I never used it. Not super interested in the Coleco Atom. Coleco Vision, yes. Yeah. Um, and progress has started on the Commodore 64 as well, which is Another very, very cool. Another classic console. Yep. Um, so let's find out a little bit about the plus cart, which is what we're going to be using to interface and play the game online. Uh, the plus cart, it is based on Robin Edwards Uno cart, which is a non-online uh, multi-cart, SD based, uh, and the extension of Christian Speckner's uh, Dirty Harry fork. Uh, the plus cart has no SD card. But there are versions with an SD card, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're just talking about the Plus card, which has the online component. But an ESP8266 to connect to a local Wi-Fi network and the internet. So it connects to the internet through your local network and gets out that way. Plus card downloads the ROM files from, uh, oh, need to get rid of that end, uh, from a server in the internet called the Plus Store. So it hooks up to uh, a single server where you can download all the Atari 2600 games and play them right from there. So you don't need to load them on. And they're also updated on the Plus Store. So as soon as it's updated pretty pretty regularly, 
I don't know if my game's up there yet. I don't know if you know that. I released it. Did new, you release I've it? I released a game. Oh, dude. Yep. You were telling me about it. Was yep. it the game you were telling me yeah, about? Yeah, Pac-Line 2600. So I don't know if mine's up there, but hopefully it'll be up there. What, what do you guys think of James's game? Is they it? liked it. I we won't know, get it too off track. I want to yeah, yeah, hear. I, well, this is news to me, man. <laughs> sucks, <laughs> sucks. Um, yeah, uh, you can download games from the Plus Store. You can also chat. It has a chat function built into the Plus Cart. Uh, the way this is done is similar to the way the Uno cart loads ROMs from the FAT file system on the SD card. Well, the VCS is performing a wait routine in his RAM. Oh, it's mail. Mm. Um, additionally, the Plus cart uh, has one more interesting feature. It offers internet access to the ROM developers. These functioners are called Plus ROM. So there you go. We've shown this on the show many times. We've used the Plus cart a lot shows a directory you can just launch the games right from there best thing since his last pob album that's my band yes <laughs> pack line 2600 is pretty good <laughs> pack line rules simple and fun yay there we go there's your reviews um so yeah you can run it hooks up to the internet hooks up to a server the plus store you run games from there there it is with uh naked there's the uh, wi-fi card there it is with its case and uh, yeah, so that is uh, the plus cart in a nutshell. So what happened was, um, let's take a look at the thread. I think that kind of started Alnifer on this journey to put, you know, to connect up the plus cart to the FujiNet uh, services um so it is right here it was on january 10th and uh it's from t shack 909 uh who's in the chat hey. today uh uh january 10th it seems enough time has passed to revisit this and some new hardware has come to light for the hardware hackers in this group what about mating an esp32 with an rp2040 rpi pico to provide the necessary bus interface cartridge emulation for a device that would provide two main functions. Loading of games via the internet. Hmm. This is all. Oh. Yep, playing of multiplayer games via the internet. Thoughts, Tom says. And we'll just scroll down a little bit. Um, uh, Thomas Yanch uh, replied up above. Oh, actually right there. Probably I'm missing something here, but the plus cart already covers the first post. And as far as I know, for multiplayer games, one would need a server. Now, if you th if you remember way back, about a year or maybe two now, we played the very first online multiplayer game with the 2600 in the world um, mm -hmm. using um, the plus cart. And it was Combat, which was the very first 2600 game ever released. And I played it with Darcy. He was at his house. I was here. And we played the very first multiplayer Atari 2600 game over the internet using hardware. Um, so that both things have been covered. Um, so Alnifer replies, second point is covered by plus ROM functions, which are already supported by various emulators and the plus card. And it goes on from there. And it talks about... Here's the game that we're going to be covering today. Oh, and there's this. The lobby system we've working, been working on, a game of five-card stud poker, which is used nearly four years. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was a <laughs> longer little bit than longer that. than... Time flies, let's say. Been doing this. This is the seventh year we've been doing this. Holy shit. So there you go. Five-card stud. This is on the uh, Atari 8-bit. Um, you can see all the poker players. Um, there's the lobby, which you can get into playing the game. We'll take a look at this on the Atari 8-bit as well after we take a look at the Atari 2600. Uh, and then some uh, conversation goes back and forth until I announce that we're going to do this today. <laughs> oh my God, we're in a loop. Um, okay, so then Al uh, reached out to me about a week ago about this secret project he's been working on. Kind of secret because it kind of stopped in the conversation here in like days afterwards and you didn't hear any more thing anything more about it so uh he says the game is not playable now the rom only connects to a mock table with eight bots on the fujinet server and you can watch them play poker so 
This is a proof of concept. It's a work in progress. It provides the basic functionality of everything that needs to be done. It's a POC. It's, yes. This is a POC, guys. Just a POC. It's going to be okay. It's <laughs> okay. Um, so it does connect to the server. It connects over the internet. It displays um, the game. It, play, it displays what's going on in the server playing the game. Um, and you can watch them play poker. When a button is pressed, the game advances to the next player. So eight clicks is one round. The game restarts after round five. Even though most data for the game is sent from the back end, it is not all displayed by the display kernel yet. So all the information is getting to the plus card. It's not all on the screen yet because he's still working on the displays. Um, currently missing information. Player purses uh, will need flicker. So you don't know how much each player has in their bank. Um, last player action isn't displayed on the screen yet and available actions when it's your turn. So Sweet. it just kind of, you just progress through the game. So let's- uh ah, details, you know. It's, yeah. a, it's just a POC, oh, it's all good. There was more on Andrew Davies forum. So uh, if you want to go check out those forums, there was a bit more there as well. Um, so let's uh, load it up. And I can't show you the first little bit because it's secret. And uh, the dev team actually uh, put in some more um, fail safes so I, <laughs> so I don't sure. accidentally reveal anything. So that's fine. <laughs> they don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame them. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you never know. You things never... mess up, right? Also, uh, unintentional things can happen. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button and uh, oh, they, oh no! Oh, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't delete everything. So it's okay. It's okay. It's, all, it's gonna be it's, all right. I'm not showing it's, anything. It's a POC. It's just and a I think I can show it from here, which is safe. It's a safe. Okay. There we go. Five card stud, version 0 0.2 NTSC. Luckily, we're in NTSC land. So let's uh, give it a go and load it up. Yeah, let's check it out. There we go, FujiNet, five card stud. And it says we're online. That's crazy. So if we're not online, it would it would give an so error. So this is, this is legit. This is le legit oh. communicating from an Atari 2600 through the plus cart, through the Wi-Fi card in there, my network over the internet to the Fuji servers, and it's connected to the, well, we'll press fire and you'll see. It's connected to the database of games that are being played. These are all fake games, though. It's it's connected to certain certain games that Man, aren't I, live. Did I want to I want to play the den, the, <laughs> the, the basement? So we've got the red room, the blue room, the green room, the den, and the basement. I don't know. My heart is drawn towards the den, but the I don't den? know if there's an option. Okay. Let's see about this. What's this going on in the den? You know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't okay, so let's just it's see. just a POC. So we gotta. <laughs> and he's actually fixed this up since uh, last time I looked at it. Um, so you can see the titles are there of all the different rooms you can join. Uh, it says the table, number of players. And then bots uh, as well. Hey. Yeah, so I don't think we can connect to, uh, let's see, six yeah, we, bots, four bots, two bots. And I think if we connect to the bottom ones, this is uh, this is nobody, it's gonna be no a, bots. It's going to be a quiet. Yeah, a very quiet game, let's see. You know, it's very den-like, you know. You go into the den in the basement to meditate. <laughs> That's right. Just have time relax. for yourself. It's not the high-stakes gameplay of the green This is the room. real games list. But the plus ROM back end connects you to a mock table. No, no matter what? which one you choose. Oh, okay, so, so we can... this is the real. So if somebody was actually playing one of these. We would see. If you jumped in right now, which we can. <sighs> does it update? Al, does it update? If I turned on my Atari 8-bit and actually started playing one of these games? Actually, I should do that. Yes. We'll do that after. We'll do that after Man. and check that out. Because maybe I have to start playing and it only grabs this screen once. Yeah, let's, let's find no, out. No, all seats are free. Ooh, all seats are mean? free? Yes. Oh, it will update. Well, oh, let's do that. Let's do this. Because that's, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my Atari 8-bit. And uh, we will switch over to that. And then we'll see them update. And then we'll continue on with the Atari 2600. Um, so... Let's switch over to... Atari 8-bit, 
to change my profile. There we go. It says I'm in the den now from my Atari. Dude, we gotta oh, check out perfect. the den. The den the is den. where well, we're meant we're, to we're be. Go man. Into the den, oh. Uh, the color's gonna be a little wacky because I still haven't fixed it. <laughs> so. What, we're video we're video judging card. you harshly, don't you worry. I can feel it. I can feel the, <laughs> the internet coming over to me. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a few seconds to refresh. Okay, so there we are. Oh, there's two players Ooh, in the den. den. Let's check out the den, dude. Yeah. So we're going into the den, oh. connecting to the server. You sit down at the table. Ooh. And who's in the den right now? Atari or Atari or Bit? Uh, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna so guess, we have to wait for the round to finish. I'm gonna guess that's Andy. I could be wrong. Andy D. We got Andy T D. T, T Shack ninety and Moswald. There we go. Dude, Moswald. Atari Orbit is, is Andy. I I had a feeling. I don't know why. Nine zero page. So. There. Okay. So now we're in in the den. Now we can switch back to the twenty six hundred, and it should reflect <sighs> what's going on. Yeah. What we're seeing here with the number of players. Oh. oh, check it out. Uh, he does not. He says it will take a little bit to refresh. We might want to restart it. Uh, no, mine is uh, PAL. And I've got you have a to restart the ROM, is okay. what Alnifer is, is saying. We're going to switch away to not reveal any secrets. We will not reveal your secrets, <laughs> Fujinet. That's right. We will not reveal we do want your to see sin that. number. I, we won't. <laughs> I want to prove that this is live and actual and real that we can that we're looking at. So we will if we not see broadcast number... your passport information. <laughs> That's right. Keep your secrets. Don't you worry. I just want to see what's going on in the den. <laughs> Nothing good. Nothing good is going I, on. Money is coming and going. <laughs> Untaxed money is happening. People okay. will be shooting at the feet of their. There we go! Dude, the den is popping Four off. Four out of eight this. people. Oh, check nice. it out. Nice. Okay. Oh, I've never used the exit function. I'm sorry, on the plus card. That's I can't remember what, what it is. Reset plus right. Okay. Oh, I thanks, Thrust. Thank you, Thrust. So there we go. Proved. It's a POC. Four people are playing. <laughs> we got our, we got our POC right. going on. Let's, uh, can let's we... switch back to the den for a second. Oh, let's see what's going on in the den. I should be playing and holding up the... Oh, I'm not yet. Their, their game still happening. Okay, it's That's still fine. it's still going. I honestly don't know how this game is going. I see aces. <laughs> I see threes. Uh, well, Moswald has got two hundred, and the other two have one ninety four. So it's pretty uh, close. <laughs> it's very close game still. <laughs> it is. But we got two hundred. So okay. we're... But that's not why we're here. We're here for the 2600. That's right. We're here for the for the POC. That's right. So we're going to pick the den, even though it will actually go into a mock table okay. that is not listed. So here we go. So this is the uh, screen that you'll see for the 2600. And let me just tell you what things are. So you'll see in the bottom right, there's a line under the uh, deck of cards. That is the active player that is currently playing. In the middle, there's a one and an eight. One is which round it is. Obviously, we just started. And the pot is eight. So cool. not much in the pot. So we've got uh, six people playing. Um, so to advance, we press the button. It'll just automatically play. There's no betting. There's no um, folding. There's no hits. There's nothing. There's no life savings so being press, lost. No. <laughs> so we've got a f ace and a three up at the top. And that's our our deck. So we've got an ace and three. And uh, he just folded in the bottom oh, second one from coward. the bottom left. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I can't beat the ace and a three. Oh, two aces. Oh, dude. I think we're doing good. I think we're crushing. I don't know what this means, but I feel like we're crushing this. Well, we've got two have already folded is what Alnifer has said. So. Oh. oh, those two. They're just like, nah. Like, screw Too this. rich for my blood. So the pot is now 33. So it's our turn. Our turn. Um, I think I have to press it. Oh, no, it's thinking. It's thinking. It's a work in progress. Maybe it's crash. It's just a POC. It's yeah, it's okay. just a POC. <laughs> so the text screen uh, that we saw uh, on the front uh, with all the, the um, names of the tables and stuff uh, is used from a 24-character demo by CD-W. 
Chris Walton, which I also used in uh, 1942 BB. It has, uh, which Alan Fur uh, worked on, an awesome 1942 game. That looks crashed, it does. <laughs> so it's right and reset. Man, we were crushing it with our aces. This isn't fair. Not like this. Well, that's not working. So I think it's crashed, crashed. No! So I'm gonna load it back up and hide. We're the flying close to the sun, but. We are, yeah, very it's, close to the sun. It's, it's, it's why it's a POC. That's it's right. Just, it's just a POC. Okay, good. Not showing it. And we're gonna load it up again. This game's, game's still, still going, going on. Oh, okay. It's oh, that, really? Man, it never stops in the den. Don't nope. you worry. Oh, Five the den. people in the den now. Oh, it's, the den. it's popping off in the den. Oh, we got, we got our aces oh, we still back. Got our aces. Okay, okay, nice. okay. This okay. is fine. So but now we can you progress. Don't fold, cowards. Hold. Don't hold, you fold. Hold. They're going to because I've got two aces. Oh. All they've got is a jack and a six, but we don't know their hidden card, so let's yeah. keep going. Nor do we Ace really know how to play this game either. Oh, another person <laughs> folded. Yeah. Cowards. Uh, what do we get? Come on, give us a card. An eight. Eh, okay. I'll take it. I'll yeah. I'll take an eight. Ace of, eight, eight of diamonds. Yeah, oh. I'll take an eight. Okay, okay. Jack six three. So he's got a king, queen. The, what they're showing is not super amazing, but I feel like, you don't know what they have yet. But we we can't just like, you know, what is it? Live off our laurels. What's the term of <laughs> yeah. our double rest aces? On our rest on our laurels. Rest on our double aces. Come on, give it two <gasps> double eights. Two pairs? Oh, dude. Okay, this is. We're we're and it's think, showing too. I think we which might. Which means they're gonna. They're I think gonna we might be it. the best players at this game. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I, think, I think we might be experts. Yeah. Oh, what did they get? An ace. I think we might two, be queen, unbeatable. Eight. They don't have anything like that's really showing. That's this is really... our den now. Yeah, we're dominating. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Their turn. Nobody's folded. Nobody's folded. Brave. What did people Brave. got? So what do we got? Okay. I feel like they have this kind of mishmash. Okay. What do they have? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. They've got a pair, but we've got two. Yeah. Ace. They've got a pair of twos. Dudes. And, and they've got the nothing. I think we won. I think won. we just demolished. Nice. 133. We won. Round five shows the cards of the others. Yep. Nice. And then it starts over. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's do another quick round. Let's see, I feel like um, we're not doing as good this round. I mean, a five and a two yeah. is pretty rough. Yeah, but... different suits, not not super great, and we folded. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We we cut our losses. Two ace. Uh, it happens. Aces. Yeah, we cut our losses. A jack and a queen. Six and a seven. When you're staring down the barrel of a gun, That's right. double aces. <laughs> I, I understand. You're in the den. You're like, I can't do it. I, I can't must. deal with this. The smoke is thick in the air. Who knows what time it is? You bleary yeah. eyed. You're in the den. There's no oh. clocks. There's no windows. Yeah. Uh, All there is so is just got a, a pair, sports game playing pair in the aces. background. Yeah. <laughs> the fuzzy black and white TV. Gotta smack it to get a signal. <laughs> we're, we're in the den. Come on, show your cards. Three aces. Okay, oh, I feel yeah. like we did the right thing and bowed like, out early. Yeah, this is this is the way to yeah. do this. How long until somebody starts playing for real money? I think about you could a, yep. a couple now? minutes from yep. now. What yep. do you want to? <laughs> what do you? What do you got thrust? What are you gonna throw on the? <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 match your so, wager. I think that's everything that i have notes for so this is really exciting this is very cool so we're just steps away from actually being able to play this because all it needs to do is connect now to an active game and display a little bit more information on the screen so he needs to work on his kernels just a couple more um display some information under each of the cards or like top of one we can kind of split it and split it at the bottom and the top. And uh, then he's got a working game interfacing completely with five card stud on multi platforms. The 2600 will join the future of online playing, which is exciting because then as more games are added to the FujiNet, and there are a couple more games which we are going to feature in an upcoming show and play through all the games that are available, uh, pretty much. 
any game that can be um, displayed on a 2600 can be played on the uh, played with other people online on different platforms, which is really exciting and extended to any game that is uh turn based really oh yeah you could have any kind of board game any kind of card game any kind of dice game and even there's lots of video games that are turn based oh yeah um and I don't know if you could do real time because I don't know if this whole system is fast enough, you know, connecting with the server, the ping times, the multiplayers. Um, I don't think, I don't know if this hardware. So I, so far we haven't seen a real time right. internet game yet. As far as I know, scorched earth. That's a perfect example. That'd be amazing. Scorched earth on the 2600. I don't, the display of Scorched Earth, you could probably do it. You'd have to rely on the back end a lot. I think the server would have to take care of most of it. And it would just approximate the display of a higher resolution um, play field. But it could definitely do all the tanks and flicker them if needed. But it's the it would have to do a very rough play field estimate of what everyone is seeing. Yep. Incoming! Incoming! <laughs> Yeah, for two-player combat, what would be needed? Power's back on to get to watch that PH. Excellent. Um, yes, lots and lots of play field, yeah. Because the 2600 only has 40 uh, resolution play field across, so it would have to be downscaled quite That's a bit. Pretty. But the buying, the menu for buying weapons and buying defenses, that's not a problem. You could you can manipulate it to make it look good. Uh, showing the tanks, not a problem. Showing like the wind, uh, how far your shot's going. Showing the shot, not a problem whatsoever. So I think Scorched Earth is a possibility on the 2600. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to um, play some multiplayer yeah. online gaming. Uh, you could do RPGs online, turn-based RPG games. Um, the world it's it's endless endless yeah i feel I'm like very that, excited i feel like that. that card game makes so much sense like to start off with hang yes. out like you know like a yep, little texas chill. hold'em going would be like ooh. yep yeah that would be nice yep so this is this is super exciting we are now into the world of multiplayer 2600 online games for real now we're a step yep. towards the neural link yes <laughs> there's blessed. it there you go dude now i would you, play some chess keep, now, now you're talking my language to yeah. us now Ireland's gonna buy a 2600 you and a easily, plus card you've sold them on it that's dude, the killer app because there's for no Erlen. way for me to play chess <laughs> other than on no 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 there's, there's no only other one ways. source of this. <laughs> there's only one source of chess and that's the plus card interacting with fujinet but no, chess would be perfect because it's like it, it benefits from you sitting and watching something and it's slow turn base. Like. Yep. It's thinkable. Yeah. Just a few steps away from microtransactions. That's right. Hey, you want an ace in your hand? Hey, pay a 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want the, the leopard print cards? Oh, oh who doesn't want go. the leopard print cards? <laughs> The ZPH exclusive cat now cards. You're, now oh, you're thinking like a dude. CEO. <laughs> For just only 99 cents. It's, it's a microtransaction. MTX. It's, it's nothing. It's not pay to win. It's it's pay nope. to look cool on That's online. right. For all your other friends, they can see your, your special cards. Just your uh, add ZPH at checkout for your 10% oh, off. I wanna, MTX oh, yes. Is for... <laughs> I, w I want my own branded card, ZPH card. That's, That's awesome. what's going to happen. <laughs> so this, this, this is actually this is amazing and um so honored that uh, al let me premiere this on the show and show off uh what the future of the 2600 is for online gaming yeah loot boxes yeah here comes a loot box drop yeah that's awesome i want my zbh skin for my card deck yeah yeah dude, we'll hook you up don't you worry for the small price of 14 dollars a month for 10 years <laughs> oh yeah it's an ongoing <laughs> su subscription and if you don't pay it it goes you away. lose your <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh sorry we're playing the game holy shit sorry guys andy we're sorry yeah uh, moswald we we're a, sorry a queen we got an ace we got a jack we're actually kind of killing it man <laughs> fuck Ooh, we, yeah we need a king let's do it let's, let's go for see what happens let's go for this oh sorry i revealed my cards <laughs> wait 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 hold on we gotta take we gotta back that up <laughs> just just uh ignore us andy we we <laughs> yeah that's it's a tactic right like when you're playing poker you just let everyone know your cards oh yeah but yeah. then 
But are we told? But are you truth? being honest? Oh, it's the debate. Oh, it's the yeah. ultimate. You don't know. I might have been lying. I can see your cards via the stream. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. <laughs> oh, I could put a block over it. If I was actually playing or, with other people, I could put a little screen. Or are we putting fake cards? Yep. Because we we created a, a, a overlay that will show the cards, but not the real cards. <laughs> no, this is fake cards from another another game. This is exactly right. Because I you... could technically place any card I wanted on the one that uh, you what, guys can't see. The sneaky little overlay, because we got green. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before you know it. So what have they got? He's got all clubs there. Femrock Fen is still Fenrock a secret. Fenrock is bowed out. Andy D's bowed out. Ooh. Dude, we got this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't have know. no idea how to play this game. Well, <laughs> but let's do it. Let's raise it. Let's raise the stakes. It's just a POC. It's all good. <laughs> but then the viewers want to see our cards. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's going to be hard. No, I would I'd be able to block it. Yeah, we could block it yeah. off. It's it's a very simple because it's in the exact same position all the time. And if you're willing to use some of your points, you can reveal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you can use some of the channel points to oh, see <laughs> how do we do. Um, um, not great. I feel like having all <laughs> different ones that have no relation to each other is that good? It's pretty <laughs> good. A, yeah, you add good? up all the face card yeah, values, and and whoever has that no, yeah, no, it's bad. It's we're, what, what's, we're, what? we're out of here. <laughs> we're folding. folding. No, we got nothing, man. Nothing. Moswald, it's up see to what, you, let's buddy. See what Moswald and uh, Jack ninety has. It's a Jack. It's a Jack. It's a Jack. I don't know how to say that. T S C H. Jack. Oh, dude, the Shaq. legendary basketball player. <laughs> so I can't Pretty see. Anything. Shaq broke more backboards than anyone change, else. That to change to, the okay, it's got a pair and oh, I think Oswald's got this with double kings. Oswald won with shit. pair. Not much, Holy but that's what you need. Tom, Tom, Shaq is Tom, yo, Tom. There you go. That's super cool. Man, this uh, has been I'm, some great time in the den. Yep. So I'm gonna bow out of that one. Hanging out in the den. With the so crew. um, thank you so much, uh, for uh, hanging out. Yeah. Um, developers uh, from uh, FujiNet. It was quite an honor. For Thanks you to so much, here. guys. It's so awesome. But Thanks. we will be doing uh, a spotlight That's on right. the FujiNet coming up and all its features for the Atari 8 bit, probably when I fix mine so yeah. the color isn't disgusting yellow. There we go. Uh, yeah. I, love, I love analog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, percussive <laughs> maintenance. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to crash out of that. Goodbye, Den. So, uh, we're going to move on to the next game. There we go. And I'm looking, very looking forward to the future in that. Unusual pronunciation. Oh. Check. Tom. Tom. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So, um, the oh, next... It's a song by Kraftwerk. I don't know the band, but it's that sounds sick. Oh, it's a very early electronic band from Germany. Yes, yes. Germany. Kraftwerk. It's Kraftwerk. Um, so the next game we are going to be playing is uh, an exclusive world Holy premiere. Shit. Uh, Zark Stars Five Stellar uh, by Leandro Camera, H S W three E T. Who's also made Escape from Mars, Intruders, Midnight Commando, Orbital War, Polar Rescue, Rally Racer, Satellite Fortress, Zack Stars 1, 2, 3, and oh, 4. We've got of a which... prolific oh, game yeah. designer. The series continues. Uh, we've got a, a prequel. In <laughs> the next chapter. <laughs> That's right. And we premiered all of them. That's all so the Zark cool. Stars, which That's... is awesome. And they also made ZPH the game, which this guy's in. Oh my god. Oh dude, I have the card at home actually. I, <laughs> That's was, look, right. I was looking at the card the other day. I was like, oh. signed. Like, yeah, by man. everyone. Not the cats, but I, was, I actually <laughs> I, I put it on my desk. I was like, oh, oh nice. this, this card. This is You're great. on the cover too, right? Nice. Yeah, it just warmed my heart cuz I I was kind of I had it sort of like in a in, in like my like drawer and I was picking it and I found it and I was like, I'm going to put this <laughs> on display. Then, it just you made know? me feel Historical good. Historical artifact. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, craft work is from here. Dus Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. Wow. Hey, awesome. The rest. Have you seen them? Their their music is a bit too simple for me. 
Like the very, very, very old school electronic music. Yeah. Um, looks like they put on a very good um, show though, like oh. a live show. But their music, some of it's pretty cool, but it's like so, so early. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's um, get this uh, the plus card out there. I love that the cats are like Pavlovianly like trained. They're looking at us like, why aren't treats happening? But at the same time, it's like it's out of our control. Cats. I'm <laughs> sorry, is. but they're really they looking. They've been looking at us this whole time. Like I don't understand why we're not eating treats right now. And it's like, well, this is not in our hands. It's yeah, up to it's the absolutely viewers. not in our hands. Uh, so let's get this ready. Harmony. And uh, as I said. This is an exclusive, exclusive world debut. Okay, let's get this started. Zark Stars 5 Stellar. Let's do it. Oh, I already like the music. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. while you're away, there was a game, a good game. that we played uh, that had the music from John Carpenter's Precinct 13. Oh, it's the best. They yeah. had it. Oh, uh, it. It. oh okay. I, I hum that song like probably once a week. I'll just be walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's learn about this game. Here is my... Oh, actually, we have some things to show first. Um, so let's uh, go away from this for a second. So there's the title screen. Um, so, creepy song. I like it. Hey, El Camara! Yo. The dev is here! What did YouTube say about the music? I don't remember. I think they might have flagged it. Did they flag it? That's they YouTube is like... It. They're brutal. It's a minefield, man. Yeah. They once flagged me for baseball music some baseball tune yeah. that they play baseball games it's very random it's all all, all algorithmic too so it's like there's yeah. no there's no sort of context for it no you could hum something and it's like flagged hi guys here i am again this is a new game i'm working on for the atari 2600 i hope you like the idea cheers leandro camera so we'll read out this Dude, space logbook i'm fucking in oh yes yeah. space <laughs> I'm in. so zark stars a space saga i love this art this retro oh, style great. is really good work and there's all the cool stuff that you get with it um let me read a little bit about that uh the game comes with uh, a disassembled map so right there um and pawns that symbolize the planets uh, for you to assemble according to the instructions on a leaflet that accompanies the manual. Um, and the game is available for sale in two formats, simple and special edition. I am guessing this is the special edition. I recommend the special edition. Well, yeah, you Just want in general. all the maps and stuff and the, all the things you get to put on the map. Um, uh, and it's available on the website, zarkstars.com. Or to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Zarkstar. So it's available right now for you to buy. So you can take a look at what we're going to be playing and uh, see if you're interested in, in the game. Uh, there's some short gameplay. Here's some more uh, shots of what comes with it. There's, uh, oh, the game doesn't have a shell there. I'm not sure if it has a shell. I'm, yes, it does. It does have a shell. It's probably an early shot of it. Stellar Project. Oh, there's the stickers for the cartridge. Look at all that stuff. So many options. Special editions. And he has won uh, packaging awards, the Atari Homebrew Awards before. So uh, I you can know see he knows why his I'm packaging. Him. Yeah. Very awesome looking. Some screenshots, but we'll see those very soon. Uh, then he posts the rules for the game. There's some more, and we actually can take a look at the poster right here. Yeah, this is so sick. This is Check great. Look at all the buttons that you get to press. I like that sort of illustrated, sort of painterly style, especially nice. the, like, the background galaxy, oh, sort yeah. of like, almost looks like a little oil painting, and then like... Yeah, it looks like from uh, from the screen, that painting. Yeah. Great shadows sort of cast on the, like, the back of our eyes. Right? As you notice, these 
are actually virtual ports, it looks like. Like those are screens, not outside, so they may be need extra protection for long-term space travel. It makes a lot of sense, right? Um, yeah, so they have the cameras on the outside and beaming into them because this isn't lined up with this. So that's mm. definitely... It gives indicator. me a real 2001 Space Odyssey vibe. It actually sure, does. Right? Yeah. The, also, the, the kind of like symmetrical kind of like shot is very keyboardy. Yeah, centered. Yeah. Very, very nice. So uh, now let's get into the game. Actually, uh, it says, Hi, James. Here's my space adventure inspired by games of uh, this type that I really like as a child, such as Adventures, Rages of the Lost Ark, and the Sword Quest series, which are all expansive games where you have to do a lot to get to different areas and move forward. Um, the main difference is this uh, that the game this game takes place in an open infinite world and in space i hope i did a good job and that you have fun with the game's uh proposal uh the console switches uh color black and white switching to color and bb which we have give control to your co-pilot which is you There's control second Holy second joystick shit. okay okay if you cross the sun or a large solar storm band when sailing so uh you get the solar neutralizer so you get to save us as prevents us from losing ship power. In the co even in the cockpit scenes, the co-pilot can activate the grapple joystick two button while you maneuver the ship. Joystick one to grab items faster. Um, so I think I fire at things, but you can grab them instantly with that button. Um, so I don't think you move with the joystick, it's just the button. Okay. Uh, Next time I have to do some grappling. Let's grapple. Let's grapple. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into the game now. Enough blabbing. Zack Stars. Zack Stars. Okay, this is not couch compliant. I do have to get no, up. No, no. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so here we are in space. Now, we also have a bit of some, so we have some help here. Okay. That oh, you become okay. the navigator. Like, you guys don't get this. This is kind of a cheat sheet, so okay. so we can show some okay. stuff off. We, we Just so you know, we're not cheaters. <laughs> this is purely, <laughs> this, is this is this is for Twitch. This yeah. is, this so is we for get, you. This is, this is so you don't watch us wander in space for 12 hours. Um, so we start there. Okay. Um, we need to go through the places in order, like that. See the numbers there? Oh, I do. Oh, wait a second. Oh, so we go there. In and then we go there, so it's the square brackets, then the round. Square, then round. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's. So uh, on the screen, what we're looking at uh, in the bottom left, see those pulsing uh, yeah. stars? That gives an indicator where you are on the map, and uh, people can make their own maps at home when they buy it. But right now we're at uh, three. And as we go to the, I think, left and right. See, now we're at four. Oh, okay, okay. And when as you go up and down, it changes color. We have the colors there. Oh, okay, so okay. We're at, so we're at the white level. And if we go up, it goes to the purple level, which corresponds there. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So we want to we wanna go down, we want to go back to white. Okay. And we want to be at one white, I Yeah, you might explode if you hit one purple. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was bad. That's okay, that's okay. So we're at one white. So this is our guy. This is our This is our spot. So Thomas says, nice use of uh, cosmic arc stars. You can see in the background, there's a bunch. It's like a star field. And I believe they're staggered balls uh, that are uh, used. Nice. Okay, so what we do uh, to search an area if we don't know what's there. So actually, we'll go to over here. Let's go to the number. Let's go to two. And if we pre I press the button, that's a search, and there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Okay. But if we go over to this one, search. we kind of know something is here. There we go. So what I have to do is fire on this guy. Do I? How? How do I aid again? Is there something I'm supposed to do? You can press the button while it's over top of it and grab him immediately. Try it again. Oh! Oh! It didn't work. Try it again. Maybe it's the wrong button. Hold on. Hold there's on. Only one button. I shot him. We'll read, we'll read the instruct the full instructions in a second. 
Oh, maybe you do it beforehand? Let me let you do it this one. Can do it now? Huh, okay. Maybe I don't want to. Oh! I have to fire on him and you press the button. Okay, okay. Watch this. Teamwork. Oh, no. Teamwork. Okay. I think that worked. Yes, it definitely worked. This is awesome. Yo, hammer that missile register, baby! Let's do oh, it's it. missiles, not ball. Okay, sorry. Okay, 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 we're good. Yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. So we're got the HUD. Yeah, every time we get one. And we actually we're losing um health, so we have to go fast. We've been messing around here. We've been horsing around in the den. Playing card games. We're That's on. right. <laughs> we, we, we gotta get back on track. Okay. So now was that a we, mission success? Yep. Yeah. So now we gotta head over. Okay. So go up now. Go up purple. Okay. Um, go right again from purple. I want purple three. Now go up blue. We want blue three. Blue three. This is how we're gonna navigate. Okay. Now go right. Okay. So we're going to go all the way to the very last one. So what's that? Five? five? No, six. six. We're going to okay. go to blue six and then up to red six. And okay. then that's our, that's our destination. We want some red we six. we got to watch out for the asteroid that's flying through okay, there. Okay, yeah, now we can go up. And this is our next destination. Oop. Ah, how do we get in there? Press it. Press yours. Oh no! <laughs> no! Who's? I mean, space isn't easy. So I, I'm, we are here. Is that correct? Uh. Do you see what I mean? Because it's one one. Yeah. It feels like. Maybe the... let me read the instructions again. The cheat sheet. This is what happens when you cheat. When you cheat. No, it is right. Mate, not a beer. I just want, I just want it known that I'm... Oh, <laughs> I think we needed to go to four. Why, why do we need to go to four? To refuel. Oh, shit. Okay. You think we're dead? Uh, we got a bit left, so as long as I don't crash into anything. Okay, okay. Like that. Atari! Atari. Hi! So I gotta go to one... I don't control treats. Chat does. Oh, I died. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll do it again. That's okay. Oh no! Our map! Our map! Our map! No! Our map! No! Okay, okay, okay. We're back. We're back. So we need to go to one. We white. need white one. Okay. Oh, I'll just tell you the code, and then you can yeah. navigate. I was like, I was like, we. I was gonna give you like these like. You already got the reward. Oh, okay. Also, does that mean we we don't need to do it again? I guess so. Oh, I see. You just travel there. Cat, don't. Maps, we don't need no stinking maps. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, right. who, who needs maps? Who needs instructions? Who needs rules? That's right. Let's just wing this. Let's do it. Some games benefit from just, like, not knowing anything, and some really are enhanced by having some basic you need instructions. The instructions for this. This feels like, yeah, like, I would be pretty lost otherwise if we were... We'll read the instructions very shortly. That's also classic Atari games, too. Yeah, most <laughs> you don't need instructions, some you do. Like some space shuttles. You need some instructions for space shuttles. You need instructions for E.T. You need instructions for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Teamwork. Oh, yeah. Gotta refuel after this. Oh yeah. Ken. <laughs> he's just knocking the phone. Do you mind not knocking my phone? <laughs> he knows. He's like, this is a boy. This one is something most, he cares about. One of the most precious <laughs> artifacts. It's never out humans. of his hand. Ooh, the music's popping off. 
Okay. Okay. Refuel. We want um uh we want neon one, which is bottom left. So it's gonna be green oh, and then Jesus. neon. We're gonna crash into that. Hey, buddy. We have a we green have an invading cat. Neon um neon one. So one down from. Oh, lost my hey. navigating, buddy. It's not too that. far. There we go. There we are. Okay, okay, this is a refuel station. And I believe I have to dock from the right. I have to do it perfectly. Do I need to aid in this at all? Oh, Jesus. Maybe it's from the left. Am I stupid? What's going on? <laughs> okay. Oh, new pattern and gone. Uh -oh. And gone. Uh, okay, let's read the instructions now that we have. I think we should. Yeah. I think we go help. back to the instructions <laughs> uh, real quick. <clears throat> Your objective is to carry out six missions without colliding with stars, comets, planets, black holes, space stations, keeping the ship fueled throughout the space journey. I feel like we probably did <clears throat> most of those mistakes. Yeah, we <laughs> did like not we fuel. Did I don't think mistakes. that was the refueling ship. Yeah. Uh, ship uh, Journey the Cosmos. Move the ship in the eight possible directions and use the thermal scanner, joystick Ooh. one button, to identify the areas which each action... <clears throat> <clears throat> Each action takes place in the galactic map. Once you find the right location, the mission begins. Warning, the scanner does not consume power, but you'll lose spacecraft navigation commands during use. Yeah, you do stop when you press the button. Ship fuel. That's, inter that's important. Represented by the energy bar, fuel is essential for carrying out missions. For every eight zone limits crossed, the ship consumes one charge of energy. So as you navigate, you lose energy too. To start the mission, it is crucial to have fuel above the reserve level. However, to collect rewards, this will not be mandatory. Why are you looking at that? You're so silly. <laughs> Supply. Dock the front of the spaceship in front of the space station without colliding with it. There was my okay, mistake. That's our issue. Supply is unlimited and the docking position changes depending on the patrol. Patrol 1... Level 1 normally docked with the ship. Patrol 2, level 2 docks on the second ship. Patrol 3 docks on the third ship. Okay, so I don't think we docked properly. We crashed into it. Yeah, they don't recommend that when you're... Yeah, oh, dock the ship carefully. Uh, remember to eat the Reese's Pieces. That's where we went. Oh, we, we fucked up. So we there's some the Reese's... Yeah, we were eating M&M's. Who's this guy? Is this character here? Oh, we'll Who's find out. Discovery? Black hole. There's black holes in the game. Use the black holes to travel from one side of the galaxy to the other. Point the ship to the right and press the joystick button. You'll be transported to the blue hole at the other end of the map. That's at the red um, black hole. At the blue black hole, point the ship to the left and press the joystick button. You'll transport to the red hole on the opposite side of the map. Obstacles. Colliding with the comets consumes three fuel charges. Colliding with stars, planets, black holes, and space stations consumes one energy charge. Squadron ships do not suffer damage from comets if they're docked to the space station during refueling. Traveling through black holes does not consume energy. As soon as you start a mission, uh, this is a ship's cockpit. The ship's cockpit appears on the screen and the computer in the bottom left corner will tell you which mission is in progress. Oh. The ship's fuel energy bar constantly consumed in the stage and your objective is to destroy or capture as many targets as possible before the ship's energy load reaches reserve level. So as soon as we get reserve level, we're done doing the capturing the ships. Those are for points. We got 2,300. Very poor. Every time this occurs, an alert, alert warns you that you'll be sent back to the galactic map completing the initial stage. All you need to do now is complete the mission in the cosmos. Okay, so we have to go complete the mission first. Okay. It doesn't say refuel yet, so I think we have to complete the mission, then refuel. Modular claw. That's you. Okay. Use the claw to retrieve objects requested in the missions. A horizontal alignment alert will let you know when targets are ready to be captured. Okay, I gotta, um, I gotta pay attention to the horizontal alignment. That was my yes. mistake. Horizontal alignment alert. You were just oh, not even looking dude, at I it. Yeah, I gotta pay attention. You can choose not to use the claw and just exterminate the lost charges and pilots. 
Oh, so you rescue pilots. <laughs> just, did, just ignore the pilots. Just who cares? But you will gain fewer points on the score. Warning, it is point to, important to move the modular claw away from objects in space during the return to the cosmos scene so that cause, contact between them does not... No, leave Bernie. It does not cause damage to the spacecraft. Okay, and then it gives some points. Uh, talks about the radar, which we learned about. Uh, the stars in the bo bottom left. The colors of the constellations indicate the color of the planets, nebula, and a storm, in addition to the space station. Uh, ship's command. Uh, button is completion of missions, laser shooting, and thermal scanner. Yours is the solar neutralizer. That's in the main map. Okay. You can protect us if all of a sudden we're about to collide with the comet. You can press the button and the they'll pass right through us. Okay, this is good. Or the modular claw in the cockpit. We still have to learn a bit about that. Yeah. Still some details to wrap our brain around. Yep. Um, and we can change the uh, colors on the screen with the... Hey, leave Bernie alone. No. No. Kari is in such desperate need for treats. He's he like, is. he's like, for, he's like, why is why aren't you feeding me? It's okay. not. It's, it's in. It's in chat's hands. It's not <laughs> it our hands. Not our hands. Sorry, buddy. The game is over when you run out of fuel on the ship. Okay. So mission one is robot rockets. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's do some robot rockets, man. So. Okay. So we'll, travel we'll... left. To one. And bracket one is the first bracket. Thing. Yes. Okay, let's do this. So do I aid in this? Because it was sort of saying like... So I think you have to look at the bottom left thing. Yeah. I don't think your... I don't know if your claw actually helps. In this. Yeah, because... So I'm just... Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, you're think just... extra objects that you collect. Because I wonder if we were wasting our like fuel by me grabbing things. Doesn't say anything about grabbing uses fuel, but or energy or something. Possible. I'm not sure. We're still learning. Yeah. Still, still learning, learning sir. So still learning. A lot to this game. Graphics on that ship, on that thing we're shooting, is absolutely beautiful. It does make a bad sound though. And this game is a good sound. Yeah. Is this, is this right? Are we doing? You're doing the right thing. Okay. I, it's, it just doesn't feel like. I feel like we're still we're missing points. something. We're getting points, though. Okay, so it's got to be... How many of these rockets do you destroy? Was it, we're Until like, we run low on fuel, it says. So we just keep blasting these yeah. rockets. Cool. Down to yellow. Do we just try to accrue as many points as possible is the concept? Oh. Let's go next. Out soon. Okay. Okay. Now we head up. <sighs> okay. Don't do that. So I should, if you're like getting close, I can use the solar to. Yes. You press the button, it'll pass, supposedly pass right through us. Oh, it's a planet. Okay, I hit it, but not. Uh, we need to blue six, right? Um, we need red six. Okay. Is that up one? Yeah, up okay. one from here. Um, but that, yeah, that's the, like, brackets one, but I don't know, like, it's gotta be the correct one. No, he said it, we did it right, and I did, I pressed the button, and it finished the mission, and, and I did notice that, there we go. Oh. Oh. Because I swear last time it stopped flashing, and it was, like, calm. Maybe you press it. Fuel alert! Well, let's go get fuel. Hmm. Oh, it's because I... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And the fuel is a beyond green. One beyond green, right? Would you like to destroy the instructions? Down to white. Hey, buddy. I believe the comet is lined up so that if you... Just keep traveling down, you will hit it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, another planet. So, like, Neon 1 is, like, at least, uh, oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, Neon 1 is with the fuel station. Okay. No, 
We're gonna try this again. We just got too close. Too close last time. Needed to a little bit more ginger with it. Kids, I love you, but he's like, can I have treats now? Yeah, he's freaking out. There! You have to be pixel perfect oh, on it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so okay, okay, now. okay. So now number we got to do square brackets two, correct? And then and yeah. then and then uh, so so we need yellow two is okay. is the one. So that should be like the next one up will be yellow, and then okay. one to the right. Fuel alert! Yellow two. Okay, we're here. Oh, we're on level two. So and do I do something now? I think you might. Because I saw like an no indication. Here. You like turned red for a oh, second. Oh yeah, we got a. There. Oh no, that's you. Let me look for differences here. Oh, there we go. There it is. I and I and you I grab it maybe. There we go. You got it. This one doesn't move. Okay, waiting points. Points is good. We're doing something right. Okay, okay. And we know how to refuel. This yeah, is... we're we're progressing. We're making making progress here. Okay, got it. We're still fine for fuel. Yeah, this one doesn't uh, bring your fuel down. So I'm still able to move when you press the button. That's good. So you can hold it down, and I can just maneuver it in place when it gets close. Fuel is going down, but a lot slower. More points than other rockets. Ah, good. Oh, now we're yellow. Luckily, we're not too far away from the refueling station. It's tough. It's tough navigating space. It is. There's lots of dangers. Neon one is our uh one. Oh, click on that, that's good. Yeah, let's keep it on eye. This is so hard. Jeez. I think if I'm one away, that's too dangerous. It's if almost I we almost need like a better like equipment for this. You know, this joystick is, is so... Oh. Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, so uh, now we need to get to... Um, oh, this one's close. This is Neon 3. Uh, oh. So, so we just go, okay. to, go to the right. We're good. Should have gone up. And so the is third it... mission is Space Pirates. Oh my goodness. What, what do we do with Space Pirates? I don't remember. Let me see. Mission 3. Destroy the spaceships that stole the space station modules. Oh, we didn't get the... Uh... Oh, we can still finish uh, mission two. Dispose of the contraband in the Pacific Orion Nebula. Oh, 20, shit. 20,000 points. Oh, shit. Where is that? So that's the circular two. Circular. Circle brackets. Okay, okay. So three. Nope. Okay, so and this that... is... So neon three is... Okay. So we're almost there. We're so close. There we go. Okay, so this is what we'll dispose of. And I think it. Did we worked? just get 20k. Yeah, we did. Holy shit! Okay, we got so 20K. What, okay. what's the um, three? Uh, square bracket three is red Way three. Up top. So yeah, like up, 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 up. Luckily, we're full fuel. We're already at three. Yeah. We just gotta go up. So we're actually playing now. Hooray! We know what we're doing. And we gotta find uh, fight some space pirates. So the game basically has two different views, and you well we'll see if this one's the same. And this is an 8K game. This is crazy. So it's it's packing a lot into 8K. Yeah, red three when we get to this one. Oh, this red three. Us. Yeah, this oh, is that our... take us long. Okay, this is space pirates. I'm definitely gonna have to shoot these dudes. As long as he's not chewing it. He's kind of, as long as he's only licking it and nudging it. Oh, there's space pirate. Oh, he's oh, biting. Got him. Psst. 
None of that. Cat is behaving very badly. Ooh, I hope they don't shoot at me. Well, so far, no. Oh, they're wiggly. Do I need to do anything? Um, I don't think so. These are much harder, because they're not as tall. Nudge him away if you see him. Cats are so expected. I'm sure somebody will give you treats after this game. Before we play play Frogger. These guys before are much, we frog it up. Yeah. These guys are much harder to uh, to find. Oh, the next one right away. It's all good. He's just, it wasn't a real bite. He's just playing. Yeah. I'm going to have a couple more times to get it. Ah! Oh, I got it. Okay. 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 Let's so, get our reward, like, which is... Oh, yeah. You. Refuel. Oh, jeez, yes. That's in... I'll have to go way That's down. neon one, so we gotta we got to hustle back. I guess we could take the black hole... Which one's the black hole? I still don't. Oh, well, that, that wouldn't really help us. It's that one to that. Yeah, I don't think that really helps us at all. But sadly. we will take the black hole before we, we Yeah, we'll We definitely... won't do all the missions, uh, but we'll investigate a couple more of the cool things on this. Wow, well, let me keep it on. Okay, kittens, you're licking me. This is part of the, the, the challenge rating of this game is cat climbing on my <laughs> Yes. It's got the cat challenge. Oh, I went too far to the left. I don't even have any stars left. Yeah, and just keep going down until you hit neon, and you're good. This is just two screens down. Yeah, next screen, and you're good. So, people can see that there's, like, um, stars and colors, but you can venture past the known map, Ooh, and there's more the unknown. There's more out there. It's space. So we'll do that, too. We'll do... Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, it's a little bit dangerous when you're one pixel away. You want to just kind of be two pixels away. Okay, so let's just get our reward for this one, and then we'll start exploring a little bit. Yeah, sounds good. Landra's so quiet. <laughs> He's not saying anything. So where's this one? Sorry? So we're doing, oh, the next one is uh, In the brackets. green four. So actually, oh, pretty, we're on pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. This is three, right? Yeah, yeah. we're on green. And we get... So this is the one here? No, four, sorry. Four, four. How much reward do we get for this? We get 30,000 points. Seek your reward on planet Venus. This guy, oh, dude, 30K? Let's take it. Yeah. We'll take bring it. Us up to, we'll take it. Oh, we're, we're in it. Where's the planet? Oh, there it is. We will take it. We don't need to be close. Just need to be near it. 70,000. So that... Ooh, ooh, okay, that's good to see. Okay, so we're full. So four... Um, so let's do the, the um, warps. The black holes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So go to yellow six. Okay. This will, this will actually get us there. Questionably, I think it's actually about the same, but that's okay. Yellow five. There we go. We're interstellar this. Let's right. like hit so button. we need to press the button and left. Or right. Do I, do I help? Maybe. I don't think so, though. One second. I'm going to read up about the black holes again. Because they have to press the button and a certain... Okay, which one are we at? Oh. So we're at here. Yellow. Oh, it didn't say. So it's on the blue one. Point the ship. Point the ship to the left and press the joystick button. It's not go to the left. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're purple one. So now purple we, one. we so want we red four is what our... We're not gonna do the next mission. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna check some stuff out. Cool. Space garbage pays. Yep. Uh. Okay. There's cosmic winds. Uh, it's got a lot of hints on here. So the different missions: the robot rockets, which we did. Psst. Oh, that one's fine. Uh, the smuggling, which we did, and the space pirates, which we did. Mission 4 is stolen cargo. Mission 5, crystals of Z Zarkion. 
Mission six, capture the prisoners. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, that's the most expensive cable in the room. <laughs> he, knows. he knows. He's like, dude. Uh, and mission five, which is a V. Yes. Uh, the Star Cruisers. So there's actually seven missions on yes. this. Uh, so let's actually read the uh, what this game's about. Watch him. Uh, the Star Patrol. New rules imposed by the Five Galaxy Command. Based on Venus, now a planet inhabited by a civilization that governs galactic justice, authorized the installation of prisons on Earth's moon. A planet abandoned for more than a century and which is on a path to collision with the sun. Mars, holder of the most stable mining colonies in the solar system, has made available a new space station with enough cargo to supply and repair the latest space fleets. The red planet has begun, uh, been a target for looters over the years, but now an unknown race is determined to deactivate the space station and take the mined cosmic material to this mysterious planet located in the ancient orbit of Saturn. Under the banner of Star Patrol, you are called upon by Earth to base to maintain order in the four quadrants that are now under your jurisdiction. Piloting the Stellar ST8, that's what we're piloting, your role is to maintain controlled space navigation, carrying out six missions and crossing space through meteor showers to control the action zones. Lord Computer no knows where to find you and you feel like you can't put the missions at risk. This is an advanced space exploration adventure. Jump t into an infinity. And beyond. And beyond. No victim cables yet. He's chewing through them bit by bit. So there's lots of information in the manual. Like tons that I will not be reading out because there's a lot. And you kind of map your own map out when you get the game. So you know kind of... So you sort of slowly build your out. own... <laughs> build your own map up. This this is the the secrets. The secrets. Oh, it's really tiny and I can't see through it. Um, so let's go to unknown territory and um, visit that area. Okay. Let's so that's out. north about. So we're in. Um, we're in blue, blue, which is so. This oh, is, we're pretty much near the damn top. Close. So just keep going. So let's go up to blue of uh, four. And then head north. And let's see what happens. And see what's out there. Just a just a quick glimpse before we finish off the game here. A glimpse into the unknown. That's right. Into soon, infinity. Soon we'll be off the radar. There's red, and then there's nothing. Now we lose navigation. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. we almost hit, got Luckily, hit. Luckily, we have lots of fuel, so even if we get hit once or twice. Actually, I want to see what happens. So press your button. Oh no! Ready? Okay, do it. Did that work? It absorbed it. I don't know. Try it again. No, hold it down before it hits. I did. Hold it. Oh, I don't think that works at all. <laughs> Maybe we both have to do it. I'm not gonna do it again. We're just we're we're in unknown space taking yeah. hits. This is not the news. time. It's not the this time. This is not the time to test. Captain, why? Why are you testing our shields at this time? <laughs> we're so far away from home base. <laughs> I'm questioning your leadership, Captain. That's right. You've never led us astray, but your decisions are confusing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we're flying into the sun. Damn. Captain. Oh. Oh, our fuel! Captain, oh god! Our fuel is in critical condition. This is hard Captain. to cross over. I don't know if I'll make it. Captain, oh, can we make it? Can we make it? Captain, can we, make it? Oh, we made oh. it. You have to have full fuel almost to cross Holy over that shit. barrier. Okay, we, we made it past the barrier, called. but what happens now? Oh, I don't know, because you have to kind of run blue four, one, two, three, four. If we go up three more and go one over, so it's one, two. We're dangerously low on fuel. Yeah, I'm gonna go over one. Actually, I'm just gonna go up one. Look one. for a gas station. Oh, it might be a remote gas station out here. Hey guys, I just happen to be uh. For one, you need fuel. For two, you shouldn't have tested <laughs> getting hit. <laughs> yes, that was. There were many. Oh, hello. whoa! What's this? What's this? Maybe I can rescue him. Is this pressure button? Do I touch him? Do I crash into him? Okay, I'm touching him. Okay, we're gonna crash into him. The remnants of... Ah! It's 
it's just a dead ship. It's the wreckage. Floating in outer space. It is our future. Wow. And our past. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's us. It's our, it's our destiny. Captain, there seems to be a crew, but when I look closer, my god, it's, it's us. <laughs> it's the oh, clones, are what we? What could have happened? <laughs> He looks out the window. There seems to be hundreds of ships all it's captained the, by us. <laughs> it's the pre-prequel to the thing. When it was in space, my, destroying others. My God, what did we do? <laughs> We've destroyed ourselves. Boom. See, that oh, is us. Oh, <laughs> for when we need cool. fuel. So there's a lot to this game. Huge map. Helps to have the, the cipher. Yes, it does help. But, but hard I, mode is figuring it out yourself. Yep. Um, so oh. congratulations, Leandro, on the fifth installment Very of cool. this series. This one is expansive. Oh, the yeah. other ones were, were kind of a bunch of screens or flying through things. This one's out in space. Very, and very the cool. Explorative. Pulling a Kramer for the, with the fuel. It's like, we can keep it. We can make it. Trust, Trust me. in me. <laughs> it's so good. I trusted you, Captain. Look at where we landed. Oh. Yeah, looks like we're walking home. Uh, okay, <laughs> so thank you so much for letting us debut that game. And if you like that game, Zarkstars.com, you can order it or go to their Facebook page. It's treat um, time. It's yum, <gasps> yum, yum, there we go. Yum. Our, somebody out there loves you. Cats have been losing their minds. It's Pseudo fun. graphics. Pseudo, some happy cats. Okay, so let's get the bells down. Let's get the treats ready. The Got anticipation. A bag of treats. Nope, not that. Get down, cats. And let's get the bets going. Switch over. I'm the keeper of the treats. Yes. Look, I'm, I have some best friends now. So the other day, some good friends. Atari won by three. <sighs> see, not while he's here. Here's the thing. I would <laughs> love to see this, but I say the same thing. Hundred percent of the time I've been here, Atari's never won. So these yeah, are uh, this he's is... won twice while while you've been away. He, maybe he's like he's back, man. He's learning the ways. He of was the... hungry that day, and he used a new tactic. Well, he he's... covered. He he ate. He was covering one bell. And then his back end was on the other bell, and he was blocking him with his butt. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my points used to increase while watching a stream. This doesn't happen anymore. It should. It definitely should. That's that's, that's a very strange how thing. how it works. Try refreshing the stream and see if that makes a difference. It could, yeah. Um, I think with their <laughs> website, you just um, email them from the website for this game. I don't think they've added it yet. So uh, it is off and running. Got some points on. Oh, covering every with everything. Ooh, boy, this is gonna be fun. This will be very, Early cover. very, Come very interesting. Come here. Don't be silly. Come here. We gotta shut the door, you silly cat. You've been like eating cables uh, waiting yeah. the whole time. This is not the time to leave. Buddy. Atari is hungry. He might. I think Atari is off. the hungriest I've ever seen him. Oh yeah. He's, he's like he's like Rocky One level hungry, right? Like he's just he's, he's been punching meat in a meat he's locker running, and he's he, running up the he's, steps of he some Philadelphia the, building. That's right. He's got the eye of the tiger. He doesn't need to find <laughs> it again. <laughs> he's he's in a montage. <laughs> it's a, this might be a little homoerotic. It's it's happening, guys. It's yeah. happening. Airland show. Sprite wins. <laughs> oh, maybe. 100% of the time it has been that way. So we'll see. Got it. about 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Put your bets in. Pick your cat. Pick your amount. Notice on the last few streams, other on other streams, my points will increase based on time. But on ZPH stream, this hasn't been happening for some time now. Oh, I'm weird. sorry about that. That's so weird. That shouldn't be the case. No. Uh, this isn't a special stream. Well, it is. Holy okay. Shit, these cats are, are you ready, ready cats? Now. Are you ready? And go! Who's the first to ring? Oh, it's a double ring! Sprite and Atari are off to the races. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Sprite's eating slow. He's crunched it up and it's on crumbled. the ground. What's going That's on? A oh, harder. Harder. Oh, Sprite gets it in. Atari's still struggling. Atari he gets it in. It is okay, tied. Okay. They are neck and neck. And Sprite's back to the bell already, and he is ringing it. And Atari's not I'm far short. behind. Oh, he's missed the treat. He's gobbled it up. Sprite's distracted, and he's got a soft touch. That's been his downfall lately. 
There we go, he's got it. It is 4-3, Spite's ahead by one. Atari comes back to the bell, rings it, 4-4. Four, four. He is keeping up, he's keeping pace. If Atari could speed up just a little bit, he could get ahead. And while Sprite barely taps the bell, harder, harder, you gotta hit it harder. Harder, nope, the bell. There you go, there it's 5-5. Five, five. Now Sprite is quite a bit ahead. Atari has lost the treat. In, no! In. That in, was unintentional. Oh, and he has found it again. Sprite is ahead, 6-5. And these cats do bat the treats. I did hear that, Sprite I'll gets it. I'll give it to Sprite. Oh no, Atari has stolen it. That is stolen, bad tactic. Stolen Valor. That is a terrible tactic on Atari's part. He doesn't know he's in a game. Sprite is licking his it's, paw. Oh. With a double? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Okay, that's, that's Sprite. Sprite. <gasps> he's stolen Atari. it again. Atari has stolen it again. You're not going to get any points. Zero points for that, Atari. And Sprite, Sprite gets again. Nine. It is game point. It is game point. It is definitely sprites to win atari we'll, we'll is, see oh, oh and it is and he's stolen it again oh it's 10 5 oh what a crazy game oh man see you may want to wash your hands if you want to give that a quick yeah these are crumbly treats yeah greasy crumbly treats nothing wrong with that. it didn't take my bet oh ow. oh no so let's see who bet three plus on sprite Let's get the results up on the screen. Sprite three plus. Sprite by that, five whiskers. Was that a plus plus two or three? What, what did he end up winning? Oh, by? not many people bet on that. Pseudographics oh. and thrust. Five thousand points thrust, between oh, them. Oh, thrust new from the beginning. Yeah. That was what I would have recommended. Is a is a Airlines three here. plus man. You know you know what happens it's, when Airlines here. It's... Sprite dominates. And I and I honestly like. I, I'm never trying to kind of. I, I'm honestly actually trying to help Atari win. Like I'm mm. like I'm like when I'm throwing the things. I'm not trying to like. Oh, look at the ratio, twenty to one. Wow, that's a good return. That's a solid return. More points for me. Thrust, <laughs> you know, cleaning up. I'm uh yeah. Me and Sprite are just. Yeah. You know, we, we we text sometimes. We you know, yeah. it's we we we, oh. let, we let each other know what's oh, going no. on. I mean, Sprite, we that's, go. I go. Hey, I'm gonna be here, buddy. Don't worry. Interference from the judges. You know, some backroom deals going on. Are you getting some points on the side from Sprite? I might I might have some channel points. Oh. Uh, might have a burner account here and there. You know, my like <laughs> burner account, <laughs> secret <laughs> betting secret, account. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, you, you know. He's, or is, or is Atari taking the fall for you? Because that seems more likely. It's very possible. You're collaborating with Atari. It's like, Atari, okay, I'm coming this Friday. you got to go down in the fifth. That's go exactly. down in the fifth. Start That's stealing his treats. This oh, is, this man. This is it, man. And then all I know is I'm, and then I'm going home to hang out in the den. That's what's <laughs> happening. I'm going to go hang out in the den with the boys. Take though the money you won from this. Take it to the den and play some oh, cards. Oh, yeah, that's the only way. So we got our third and final game now. It is Frogger by Philip Blackman, also known as Splendid Nut. It is a 4K game. Nice. And uh, not to be confused with 4,000. No, not 4,000, <laughs> and not 4K resolution either. It is 4K, 4,000 bytes. Um, so let's take a look. Oh, everybody's looking at our feet. Let's go back. I mean, we're not making that kind of stream, guys. No, it's not a foot stream, it's even not. though our feet are there. Uh, well, I might just take off these socks. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> only, it's only not that kind of stream. 20,000 point, uh, channel points, Erlen takes off his socks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this so, happens. <laughs> it's a POC. We're just trying out. Uh, That's right. We're trying, trying new things. <laughs> Um, we're not trying to attract that audience no so no no it's not how here. it's not how we do it so he posted this on monday uh he says a remake of frogger in 4k without flicker currently currently hell yeah he will have to use flicker though if he wants to put everything in it has always been on my want list to have a nice cartridge version of frogger a version that doesn't require the supercharger nor any other extended hardware i always felt that it could be done because frogger is a simple game that seems aligned nicely with the capabilities of the 2600 hardware i it, i totally it, agree is. with that man 100%. everything goes horizontally uh everything's on its own plane uh it's absolutely perfect for the 2600 and very clear gameplay like yeah so i've finally done it i've got the most of frogger implemented uh most fr of frogger implemented and working pretty well it does contain a bit of level progression it's subtle so it might be hard to notice currently it's missing the lady frog the fly the crocodiles and the snake 
So all the that's things... okay, you know. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Is this this might be uh, it's sounding like almost we're in the maybe POC category. I, yeah, maybe yeah. not. I no, don't know. No, no, no. It's past. POC. It's, pa- oh, we're, we're it's past... playable. It's a work. In we got to post POC, is what we got. Yeah, post POC. We got to post POC because all of these things, except for the snake, would introduce flicker. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, maybe not the crocodiles if you use it in playfield. Well. Mm, 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 mm. No, yeah, I don't know. Uh, and more objects in the river, and maybe some more variety. The kernels are relatively flexible. Some of those things will definitely require add flicker to the mix. I have about 300 bytes left, Ooh. so I should be able. Uh, so I might should be able to squeeze all those things in. I uh, 300 bytes. Yeah, I have no Maybe. idea what that means precisely, <laughs> yeah. but I trust that you'll figure it out. He has to add um, graphics for all those things. Ah, oh, details. Which is not too bad, but he has to add, add logic in for each of those things and extend his kernels a bit as well. Oh, I'm ever- oh, El Camara, El, El Camera. Sorry. Uh, thank you to everyone who watched it for the comments. I will respond in the Atari Age post. Thank you, James. And oh, well, thank you, very you man. That's so much thank fun. Thank you for trusting us with your game. We didn't want to play it to the end because we'll leave some. Yeah, suspense. we don't want to spoil. We, yeah, you know. But it was going very we're, well. We're, we're all about the tease, yeah. not the. And we have some cheat sheets, so that is. It is cheating if we're like got all the answers. Overall, this is a fun project that took about four weeks. Most of the project is written in C. Only the score kernel, the frogs at home kernel, and repositioning routines are uh, written in assembly. Uh, I'll probably convert the other uh, kernels over to assembly so that I can utilize early H moves to hide those black bars in the far left. I figured this was a good point to share a ROM with everyone. There we go. So let's take a look at... Let's actually take a look at the other Froggers. Sounds good. Which provided him motivation to make this one. If you want to grab the joystick. The the inspiration. And load up 2024. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, is that second? Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I loved it then. So uh, this is the original Frogger. Very simplistic looking. Like all old school games require you almost all old school games. Wait for the tunes. You can go sideways. That's nice. Yep. And tons of flicker. Flicker everywhere. We played some Frogger versions that were so hard, like stupid hard. So it's not that this is. Oh, so are we trying to plant our frogs in? That's right. Up at the top, there's a fly bonus there. Oh, shit. You're oh. going to be better at this than me. But that doesn't mean. Oh, I think I can get that last one. There we go. So you got to put them in all the slots? Is this the concept? Yes. There's the lady frog. Lady frog mode. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Yeah, fly. I'll get that. <gasps> Holy shit. I'm just going to okay. play one round. Okay, yeah, you're going to show off what they're about. Me. Holy shit. Ooh, is that disappearing? No. Okay. But it will be. Got the harder one. Got the lady frog again. I'm impressed with these skills, man. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not too hard of a game. I played just, it a couple just, times. Just wait till I play it. Oh, boy. You'll see hard mode. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in trouble. There we go. Oh, fly. Nice. Okay, so that's one level. And then is yours next. Okay, okay. And we will load up. The Star Pass Supercharger, with this, which is a six... Okay, so which one? This uh, one Down, here? yep, that one. And then the official frog. Oh, this guy right here? Yeah. Okay, is this an older one, or is this the one that... This is newer than the other Frogger, and has a lot more um, graphics. Oh, I don't have to do anything. So the main... Con- I don't Better get, graphics. I don't want to get run over. Nope. I don't want to go on the disappearing turtles. You can see them over there. I got to watch got you, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, tutorial. Oh, Ooh, almost. Oh, oh death. Oh, 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 what's up? Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold, hold on. your horses. Oh, gonna... Hold what you got. There you go. Now, you always want to try for the leftmost one when you can. Oh, because that's, that's the that's difficult the hardest one. one. Oh, shit. Gotta watch out for the disappearing f- oh, okay. turtles. Oh. Don't trust those guys. What I get for trusting a turtle. Oh, damn it. Very untrustworthy animals. 
everyone knows that about turtles. You turn your back on a turtle. Oh shit! Okay, I was getting a little overzealous. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, still Zark Star. Sorry. Thank you. There's Frogger. Uh oh. Oh. Cust custom label okay, for Frogger. Okay. 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 Don't. Using the video, the arcade artwork. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Uh, 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 uh. You could use them, but there you go. Oh. Did I die? No, nope, oh, I nope, did. Somehow good. I didn't die. That's crazy. I thought I was oh, dead. Oh, get off that! Ah! Oh, oh. Okay, I see what you mean. That the left one. That's hard mode. Yeah, it's hard to get there. Hard. Okay. You have to do kind of a double jump at the end. So you have to time. Is it up. speeding up? Because I'm running out of time. Is this uh, what's happening? No, I don't think so. Is this is a game so. mechanic. Oh, shit. It, it will on subsequent oh, shit. levels. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm uh, so dumb. I'm so dumb. I last made, frog. I made so many mistakes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, frogs. I didn't mean okay. to. Everybody played this. Already. I didn't mean to. I love you, frogs. <laughs> I'm sorry. You trusted me. I'm sorry. Oh, risky maneuver. <laughs> Paid off. Mistakes were definitely. Um, Get what am I doing? Down. What am I doing? No, oh, not double jump. Oh, okay. okay. So. That's You're all learning how good I am at Frogger <laughs> right now. You're learning that you're you're in the hands of a Frogger so, master. One more down. Okay. Load that up. Go for it. In the hands of a professional Frogger. There we go. Right now, so you know, watch and learn. So Twitch. we've got some animation on the frog moving. We've got some nice cars. Got some nice music as well. This is some some some, some soothing, soothing, simple little Frogger Frogger times, you know. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, oh, right in the middle. Perfect. Okay, mistakes Perfect were made. Mistakes were made. You know how like pool players will like <laughs> pretend they're really bad and then get bets. Oh, going I on? see. Yeah, this, I see what's happening. This is intentional. I'm intentionally <laughs> yeah, misleading everyone. Uh, you're you actually have a world class Frogger player on your hands. <laughs> you might not know it. You might. You might. You might think that I'm bad, but I'm yeah. secretly. So, uh, the logs look really, really good. Really nice. And the vehicles look really nice. I think I'm going to be fucked. No, 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 no. you got time. <gasps> there you go. There you go. Ride it all the way. Oh, oh. I should, probably should have rid it, but... Yeah. As long as you get in there. I think I'm doing better than last time. Maybe. Potentially. Maybe. Uh, How did I do last time? Did I get... Uh, I think you got at least two. I don't know if you made it to three. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I, I may, I Smart bet, to go for that. I, I, I bet on the wrong frog. I'm going to look up and see... Have you ever done that chat? Ever bet on the wrong frog? All the time. I just, All the time. I can't remember how big the other they super, the super world charger is, but then... I think it's maxes out at six. It only has six K of RAM. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can just hang out. These guys aren't going to disappear on me. Uh, no, no, they're all good. There's no disappearing yet. No. no oh, I, 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 I don't know if you die going around the screen on this. Is that one. right? Okay. Because there are different options on different games. I don't know what he's implemented here. That is correct, Al. This is incredible for a 4K game. Lots of graphics. Lots of different kernels. You've got the grass kernel at the bottom. Looks like it's okay, okay, okay. reused okay. for the middle piece, but just recolored. Um, you've got vehicle kernels. Oh! oh too eager. It's, okay, too it's an overshot. Did you start it's over? A, it's okay, it's an overshot. Did you start over? Did I? I don't know. I might have. I think you might have. Yeah, because you lost all your That's how well I'm doing. I'm doing so well that the, <laughs> Can't the tell game you... wrapped around. That's right. Yeah, you can do it this time. Wait so. for it. Wait One. for it. Wait for it. Do it. Bam! Okay. Yeah, that's how it's done. Ah. Why? The, I don't know why the double turtles are looking very odd. There's like blocks of color. Because it's too powerful. Double turtle action. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so maybe I think like using, this timer is like becoming a bit of an issue. Maybe he's using um, missiles. Oh, I not got there. Two. Oh my God! It's shaking the screen. That's a 
Oh, oh dear. Back tire gotcha. What? Oh, I don't know what happened. I just died from nothing. Oh, timer. Oh. Your timer might have run out. That makes sense. You can see the timer at the top. It's going out from the middle. Looks like it's using play field. Whoa! -ho -ho. Fast and loose. Yeah, that's the only way we do it over here. Oh, Splendid Nuts here. Hey, Splendid Nuts! Splendid Nuts! Missile being used for lily pads to get more objects in that road. That's You're right. Splendid Nut, you are in was. the presence of a world-class Frogger player. <laughs> There's, you got three out of five. You can there's do it. Like, I believe in you. Just take it there's, easy. Take it slow. There you go. You can get the last one. Nice. One more. Good one more. Oh, there's, there's like Guinness Book of World Records speed. Oh. And this oh, is no. we're, we're we're close behind oh, it. No. I was so close. I can't, you should do it. <laughs> oh, baby. Sorry. Buddy. Lost your footing. Yeah, you should. Okay. It's couch compliant. This is nice. I like the couch compliance. Yeah, we gotta put the couch. Your timer. On. Oh no. The timer. Your frog. Oops. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. I need mechanic. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. Oh my god. Oh, it's okay. It's this okay. is not how good I am. It's okay. We just. We just. You know. We just we're just misleading chat for our uh, Frogger competition that's, <laughs> that's going to be happening. That's right. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know about the the Vancouver Frogger oh, competition that that's, that's right. that goes Annual on during the Frogger summer. We just want to mislead anyone who's watching. They, they'll be like, oh, there's no way these guys will win. Oh, show up. Oh, <laughs> devastation. That's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, the timer is unforgiving in this. I like the smiley frog success at the end. It's really yeah, nice. it's good graphic. I like that. Flicker would work better here. You're pro Flicker. Most people aim against Flicker, but I get well, it. Well, he, he's going to have to use Flicker because of he's going to have to put multiple things on the same line. <gasps> Ooh, Dude, was okay. I was some. That was some like. You know, Perfect. those kind of moves I want to see in the summer in the competition. <laughs> at the competition moves, at the, yes. at, the, at the Frogger Comp 2024, <laughs> Frog Comp 2024. Hopefully Thank you'll you. be able to use Intelligent Flicker. No, I'm not gonna make it. Ooh, see that's, I like oh, that boy. maneuver. I like that maneuver a lot. <laughs> you might want to just go for one if you have an option because oh, your don't. timer oh, is. It should time up. Oh, my timer, damn it. Yeah, because you could have taken the top. It's okay, it's okay. It's practice for frog. Last life. Frog to a 24. Oh, oh, that's the one you got this. You got this. Yeah. Oh my god, you got this. Woo. You know what is good about frogs is they lay many eggs. <laughs> many, many, <laughs> so, many eggs. The, it's, it's a roofless... There's, it's there's the circle many of more life. Frogs. It's part of life, you yep. know? You play it as much as you want, there'll always be another frog. Right. Hi, Atari. <laughs> so much cat love today. It's nice. Yeah, it is. Lots of some cuddly cat cats. Hi. How much free ROM space? What did he say? Like three hundred. Three hundred bytes. It's getting low. Getting low. But did we just did we just eclipse the first level? Hooray! So he said something. <laughs> it only took us four tries. <laughs> yeah. He said there's some subtle changes. Some subtle shifts. I feel like some speed is increasing. Am I? I could be incorrect with that, but it, I just it feels to me like it's things are a yeah. bit faster in the like in the car in the um, top on, area maybe on the top area. I feel like there's some it's ramping a little bit. Yeah, like okay. those those disappearing yeah. um, turtles was that was That's a whole definitely. other layer of like challenge. You, make it? you gotta just. Oh. Yeah, the time it really pushes you. Yeah, it's. it's like, you got It makes move. sense because this game would be so easy if there's no timer. Oh yeah. I shouldn't say so easy. But like like you saw me trying to get through. Should be able to level. reposition yourself over and over. Yeah, and over. like it just. Oh what? No, it's game leg. Over. Okay, you got to okay, play again. Okay, okay. Just the other day, I consolidated some kernels and gained back another hundred or so. Well, that's much better. Yeah. Let me know if you uh, want some help with optimization for space, Thomas says. Yeah, Thomas is the master of optimization. That's what I'm doing right now with my game as well. Um, there's 
massive wasted space. Like, oh, yeah. so much wasted space. In my and you've got some good people you can consult about that, hey? Like, yeah. I'm gonna try and do it all on my own, this first game. Just so I can learn from my mistakes. I do have a ton of room in my game, though. Like, tons. Yeah. Because mine's much simpler than this. Mine is like two characters. Mine will have more because I'm adding fruit oh. in. There's going to be like six different fruit. I got ran over from running into the back of a car. <laughs> so. You hopped on its wheel. It I spun did. around. <laughs> Mistakes were made, but we can be rebuilt. Luckily, there's a lot of frog eggs. So it's, it's fine. <laughs> Just, yeah, another one comes up. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. You gotta take the wins when you see them, you know? Yeah. I gotta speed up. What am I doing? Just, like, lagging on the first... <laughs> yeah, get through those cars. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I need, make mistakes, I need my time. I need my time. Cleared cookies. Reloaded. Logged in and out. Points are still not counting. Oh, Thomas, it's punishing you for some reason. It's weird. Maybe it's, uh... You said this has been happening for a long time now? That might be something to reach out to Twitch about, potentially, but I don't want to... Yeah. Oh! oh! One pixel off! Oh, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can be rebuilt. We can redo this. We can redo this. Oh, 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 oh good oh, maneuvering there. Oh, oh, oh you're right Oh, on the God, edge. oh, God. Things are getting real scary, but it's okay. It's okay. You're fine. It's okay. Fine. It's okay. It's okay. Do it. It's perfect timing. Oh, maybe not. Maybe... Oh, no, you ran out of time. Ran out of time? Oh, okay. Two frogs left. Whoa, that was close. You're taking super risks, man. Well, I got I need the time. I need the time. True, true. Oh, 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 oh my timing was off. One last okay, okay. frog. One last frog. Some weeks minimum. Wow. Chat. Well, Thomas, you got to win all your points now. You can't earn them anymore. <laughs> Look, my time. My time. Oh, no. <laughs> what is... What happened? <laughs> what happened to my time? Oh, oh. four to five. I'm gonna try and do better. This Just time. joining again. Oh, okay. I did pretty Welcome well though, other than not. Congratulations other than on losing. your on your uh, <laughs> second place on the extreme two five six. Extreme. Oh shit! You got this. You oh, got yeah. this. 100%. Bam. Yes. And, okay. And this this version is pretty forgiving on the slots at the top. I've noticed, which is nice. So you can jump quite a bit off. Yeah, really nice options. Yeah. You got this, you got this, you got this. Even if you don't no, got this, you got no, this. No. Not quite. Almost. Yeah, you gotta make it through this bottom part. Quick. Yeah, because you need time. Yeah. Maybe you need to be on a Firefox. That's what he's saying. Firefox. I'm a Firefox. I actually run like all of them. I run Safari, Firefox, and I do Chrome. Too. But it's just because I do like my work on Chrome. I just don't like the idea of having like a browser that's like you're watching YouTube videos and stuff and then like so it's nice to like log because also like it has all my like work stuff connected to it and then like, Oh. Yeah, I run uh two browsers and then a th then just edge if I need to try something that I don't want to be logged into yeah, or if something's not behaving on both of the browsers. It's also, like... also sometimes like you'll auto you know what I mean like if you're sharing like a Google Drive link or something. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you'll share to it and, and open it. Yeah, you need I, you I need to too. test because otherwise who knows? It may not work. Yeah, I, I do that exact exact same thing. Because I'll I'll do that all like, the time. Does it work for them? I so multiple know. browsers is really important. Oh God. Oh God. No, no, oh. you got this. You got this. You got this. Oh no, I no, don't. No, the frog eggs. No. Oh. Oh, razor thin. Yeah, I gotta get up there quick. Water fox? Is that a thing? Water fox? <laughs> he says I'm using water Did you fox? say water fox? No, uh, Aldifer says he's using water fox. Oh, maybe. That's the. That's maybe it's an offshoot. Maybe it's like a. Is, is that a real thing? I probably might be. Well, maybe um, we should run water fox. Chrome. Oh, that sounds so sick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a water. more of a water fox kind of. Yeah, Firefox is so cool. Oh, I, oh, that's so 2022. <laughs> that's right. Chrome eats all the RAM on the PC. Yeah, Chrome oh. Chrome can be tough. Nope. I'll go for a second. Yeah, yeah. Waterfox.net. It's a real thing, man. Oh wow. Okay. I gotta check that's that cool. out when I get home later. That's really awesome. Man, we know, we, we know, buddy. Yeah. So, uh, 
We got an automatic feeder for the cats. Oh, how would they have for they... breakfast? Because I don't know. Last show we were complaining about the cats waking us up every morning at 7 30. No what matter do, what day of the week it is. It's part of the charm of the cat world. Uh oh, uh oh, you went for it. I think you got this though. I the timing I think so. It's close, but I'm in trouble though. They never released Air Fox. Yeah, you need to collect them all. <laughs> Pretty soon there'll be Wind Fox. Holy wind fox. shit. The whole set. Earth Fox? Snow Fox? Oh shit. Okay, who doesn't want some snow can fox? This? Can I do this? I think I can. I think you got this. You got this. Whoa! Oh Whoa. no! Something awesome and then I kill myself. <laughs> I thought myself. you were kidding too, is what yeah, probably, probably. yeah, I've never heard of that. But that's, it's a, I'm sure it's a legit thing. Yeah, it's lots of offshoots and different branches and, that do different things. It's just a waiting game. And they're always trying to make you commit to them. They're like, do you want us to be your man? You're like, oh, yeah. guys. They're like, like, no, it's, it's okay. It's so needy. You're like, pushing, your, pushing your luck here, they're like, browser. They're like, don't you want us to be your your main browser? Your main browser? Main browser? Like, I've been good. Haven't you seen? I, I've Didn't been, you see my good for you. functionality? You're like, man, I know, but I'm more of a... <laughs> I'm feeling the Firefox today. I'm more of a yeah. water fox. <laughs> it's just one plugin doesn't work on you. And, you know, I need that plug in. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh. I got uh -oh. Yes, yes! Oh, that was I some maneuver. Some, some That's flip. the kind of shit That's we need. Pro move. That's the kind of shit we need at Frogger 2024 Vancouver. That. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up this summer. Coming up this summer. Get your tickets, fly to Vancouver. July. Tickets are forty-five dollars. I know um, it's a lot, but you got an e-transfer ZP8. <laughs> That's right. Send your man. Send your money. Send your money to. In, no, actually, you can't. Can't do the e-transfer. It's under the table. So it. Oh, what? We're out of time. Know. So cash in an envelope, please. We and mail it to my PO box. <laughs> The event may be canceled, so and, and no refunds. And the way that it works is <laughs> we will contact you if it's running. Yes, it is. We can't tell you the location now; it's secret because you know the the media just swarms the event and it just gets out of control. And to have a chance to get in, we need your SIN number, passport, um, probably like yeah, address, driver's license. Um, log in to your online banking so that we can just transfer it because it's like why do, why would you that's right why would you why would you want to go through the hassle of doing it yourself just give us the the, the login and, and, and we'll your, do it for you and your uh e-sim um ss what is it uh, oh, i can't remember the name of it now i don't see anything changing it's very subtle if it does change <laughs> maybe it's the time limit it's it brutal. does feel like time is. is, 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 uh, is look brutal. at that! I died. Oh. <sighs> Got ten points. There we go. Very, very good start on Frogger. Oh, the music's stuff, awesome. Man. The graphics it's classic is awesome. Classic game. Yep. The movement is good. Very looking forward to filling in a lot of the blanks with the lady frog, the snake that goes across the middle. Um, the bonus for the flies, the crocodile, which I think could be just made with Playfield, possibly. It's good work, Splendid Nut! Oh, good stuff, guys. Very, very good. Um, let's see what's coming up on the show. I don't think... Progress is the time limit and a few objects will speed up. Yeah, okay. I definitely felt the time limit time difference. Time limit, like, oh my god. Um, to be fair, I didn't really make it past the first <laughs> level. But when I was watching James, it seemed there you to go. be... It's like, oh yeah, I can see the time limit few objects will speed up that makes sense yeah and especially when you add in the obstacles as well um so what's happening coming up on zph i uh, don't know what's happening next show we'll see might bump up the 7800 show uh next friday we're going to be doing stellar drive mars uh an update uh berta and the butterflies and a uh paddlefield update and that's from thomas and uh, we'll be playing Destroyer 7800 either next episode on Tuesday or the Tuesday from now. Um, and, then, and then TBD. Yeah, lots of TBDs. Some TBD. Um, I probably want to start arranging that so I can fill in some shows here now that it's more open. 
Uh, Steve Anglehart, Atari's Maximus Developer Spotlight. That should be a lot of fun. Next month, Secret Homebrew from Champ Games. Secret? Yo! We okay, won't that, even know. Dude, that is that is hype like you. Huge hype. Never... He was talking about a dual joystick game. And I there, don't know which one. Dual joystick arcade port. There's only so many. He's already done some. Like Robotron 2084. Um... He's, he's, hey, he, I am he, Justin. He, he figured out how to get Civ Six on the. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Never know. He's done the impossible before. And also next month, uh, we're going to be playing through every single Atari seventy eight hundred classic game. I'm very, very looking nice. forward to that. Also, some other developer spotlights coming up. Lawrence Stavely from Reboot. Question. As long as it's not bot related. Go ahead, ask. First time dude, chatter. Ask your question. I'm what suspicious. what oh. joystick? Yo, well, that's a great you, question. That is a, joyst- a great question. Today, we used uh, Bratwurst joysticks. I do have a plethora of other joysticks. Um, Not to be confused with the delicious sausage. That's right. So if you go to the Atari H forums, just look for Bratwurst joystick. Um, works on 7800 and all nine pin, one button. Con- um, consoles like the Atari 2600, Commodore 64, Atari 8-bit. So it uses two buttons on the Atari 7800. It is solid. It is small. It is nice. Sometimes it just we works. We'll play on our exclusive ZPA. So yeah. A, a There's joystick. another one here. At as times well. we, we, we bust. Really... We, we're gonna bust that out though for Frogger 2024. <laughs> That's That's, right. you'll, you'll get your uh, exclusive. So this one's made by Double Down. This is an exclusive one, but he makes a thousand other joysticks and uh, very top quality as well. So those two people are. He both nice. Oh, thanks, man. Thank I appreciate you. it. We, we'd like to... Two-player Black Widow with Quadtari. Oh, my God. I don't know what that I, means, but it sounds That'd be sick. a dream. Uh, Black Widow, you control a spider on a web, and there's all these flies you have to collect. Whoa. <laughs> that That's is, possible. Whoa. That is the most amazing response. Are you a bot? Yes, I am. Because that makes me believe you're not a bot. But also maybe. Because would a bot say they're a bot? The, the question of joystick is too too much for a bot. That's my, my thinking is that that's some ultimate stuff. I really want to know, are you Justin or are you not? I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, that's these the, are the big question. These are the questions are we need to really find out. Are you really Justin? And who, and who, who programmed you? Justin? Who made you? Who created I'm, you? He's Canada. I'm Canada, dude. You're we you're, live you're in a country. You. You're a whole country. We That's live awesome. we live on you, man. Yeah, in Vancouver. Yeah, we're 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 <laughs> from the Great White North as well. Trudeau. Yes, Trudeau's in Canada as well. He may not be right now, but yeah. Uh, we. Um. So yes, sir. I'm watching Bobby Lee tomorrow. Is Bobby Lee here? In, Is he here, in Vancouver? In, well, you didn't say he's from Vancouver. Oh wait, yeah, in Canada. Bobby Lee's crazy. He's pretty good stand. In Niagara. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, yo, Niagara, what? <laughs> Niagara, wait, what? wait, wait. Watching without audio? That's oh, okay. I don't know. Wait, well, he's got the subtitles going. Yeah, you know, do you see. like Bobby Lee? He's crazy. Um, dude. Yeah, he's he's good. Like yeah, I stand up's good. I think his wacky. Po- he's got that crazy podcast. There was like there was crazy. so much drama that he's been involved in. He and, likes like, drama. But he, he kind of summons drama. it. But I think what I like about Bobby Lee is he has that chaotic energy where you're like, I don't know where this is going. I don't know what's going to happen. It could go anywhere. He's definitely. He could talk about anything, and you don't know if he's lying or telling the truth at any moment. Is I, like that real? Yeah. Are you making this story up, Bobby Lee? And I like, and I followed the whole drama, like the whole thing. I was tuned <laughs> way. I watched all the reaction oh, videos no. about that thing. Best friends. He's I don't want to get into that because we're, we're not a we're a, we're not a drama we're channel. A, that's not what we do. But just so you know, I I've watched many a Brendan Shaw <laughs> breakdown <laughs> videos. It's you know oh, this is what happens when you just hang out and play video games. Yeah, put things and on have in stuff the playing, and it's just people talking about other things. It'll be a great show. I think he's like he's also oh just, it should be very entertaining at least. Something like, he said that I think is so interesting as a comedian is he said I'm happy being at the level I am. Like a lot of comedians wanted like yeah. sell out stadiums, yeah. and his idea is that like that's kept his longevity. Not trying to like be like this stadium yeah. tour. Yeah, because once you get to a certain level, things change. And it's kind of unscalable, too. And and also, when you get too well-known or famous, you have a lot of different problems you have to deal with. Like, you can't go out in public, and, like, it's it's difficult. Like, if, like, say this show was, like, 
huge major streaming like we couldn't walk outside people be, hey, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. right and, and i kind of like this level too we know the people in the chat it's intimate. they know us we can meet them in person can, it's intimate you have like in jokes and can screw around you're part of the community and, yeah. right but when you get too big you have to like have a moderator in the chat you have to have all these rules and stuff and it's like sorry to tell you what i'm doing tomorrow. it's fine you oh no man chat it's, about that it's sick i think yeah. to hear as long as you're not on. a bot <laughs> it's all good it's still be a bot i love i love it it's you like, still haven't proved you you haven't passed the turing test yet yeah <laughs> tomorpo is gonna come yeah, before we know it did do you like atari games actually he jumped in when we're not even playing so he's yeah, like we oh just, it's a we stream just, we're kind of, it's near the end it's of the stream it's a, it's a so just this chatting stream. perfect time to talk about bobby lee and all the <laughs> two all plus two equals four. Oh, that's too easy for a bot two plus two does not equal four <laughs> that's right it equals did you're, you you're incorrect it actually equals five there there's a um <laughs> terrence howard do you know the actor yes <laughs> He had this whole thing. Oh. Did you hear about the math? I thing? didn't go into it too far because it was like, "You're crazy." Oh, I'm going the other way. I watched all Next of those video. videos. Oh man, oh yeah, it was good stuff. <laughs> was it? Oh my god, yeah. I, as soon as he said that, I'm like, "Yeah." Yeah, and he and he. Are you in a cult? Do you need help? Blink three times. Well, it's just not understanding the concept of math. It's some great stuff if you want to like get get into some get into deep, the deep end the deep end it's just fascinating <laughs> seeing a guy like explain and justify he he had felt like he had like the answers to the universe and he's like figured out this secret yeah which is he's, that, like math he's is possibly on the dunning kruger um uh bell curve on the very very like where is it right in the middle yeah where you know enough to be wrong yeah, and well, not know you're wrong. And then when you go to the far, far end of the Dunning Kruger, you're like, I don't know anything, and oh, I'm, yeah. I do, I'm not going to explain anything. Yeah. So and, yeah, he's probably right in the middle where he thinks he knows a lot, but he actually knows nothing. And it's and it is that thing. It's same with the conspiracy theories where you want to be the one with the special secret answers that are <laughs> that revolutionizing. Too. There's a kind of ego yeah. to that whole thing of being like, I'm like I I actually am the I've, I've revolutionized mathematics. And, and, and coupled with the fact that he's very famous, he's probably surrounded by yes people. And a great actor, like, like oh yeah, fucking great actor. But great actors and. And craziness go very well hand in yeah. hand. There's a, what is this like a Seinfeld <laughs> joke where it's like, what do actors do? People like give them the words, tell them where to stand. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they say the words and they get paid millions. There's oh obviously more to acting as a beautiful craft, but I think there is something like actors can like, they, in a way you're a bit of a con man. Like your, your whole thing is <laughs> like, could couple, couple that with uh, Ian McKellen. Or is it Ian McKellen on extras? Oh yeah. Where he's like, Sir Ian McKellen, Sir Ian McKellen. McKellen. Gandalf, you <laughs> shall not pass. Ian McKellen. Yeah, oh, that's one of the best <laughs> bits of all best time. Best bits. If you haven't seen Extras, oh my God, yeah. it's so good. It's such a funny show. Man. Yeah, especially if you're into movies or TV at all, the whole thing surrounding it. Or a fan of Ricky Gervais. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's magical. Oh my God, so good. But yeah, enjoy Bobby Lee tomorrow, man. Yeah, thanks enjoy. For, thanks for hopping on. Uh a question question we, yes we, we will have, answer we're, we we're, will try our we're, best we're, we're, we'll we're just bots too we're so just, we'll have to consult our large language model and who see. are you all both seem fun oh well we're i'm erlin here. james earl o'brien that's erlin mm -hmm. and uh we're on uh oh it doesn't say on the right in the bottom right here we're on zero page homebrew oh where is it right over there and we play video games, old, well, new video games, games for old consoles, Atari specifically, Atari 2600, 7800. Thank you for following, Yo. I'm Justin. Uh, 2600, 7800, 5200, 8-bit, Lynx and Jaguar. The right. um, five Fecta? <laughs> I don't know what's five. And my contribution yes. to the show is I know nothing and yes. I'm a millennial and this is not my world. So I come in and like... Everything's weird <laughs> and wonderful for I, him. I just go like, yo! But he is a gamer. I'm a huge gamer. So I play lots of games. So from a perspective of new games. And so you can comment on the usability 
of a modern sensibilities of yeah. game playing and how it applies to these ancient things That's right. that we're playing. These artifacts. I'm like, oh, what are yes, these? Yes, homebrews. Sorry, new games. Homebrews made by that person specifically. Dude, right there, we're going to be playing his game uh, in a week. And a bunch of other people in the chat are developers who make yeah. the games we play. And a super sweet, nice little community of people. Yeah, super, super. More, awesome. treats, More treats for, for cats. cats. Incoming today or tomorrow? The next probably one. the next next yeah. one um well, so we are done yeah we're uh, we played up. the games we fed the cats check and... out that Neuralink story that's crazy that yeah, shit's happening I'll dive more into that i didn't know he was i gotta find that and show tanya it's just like that he was playing civ 6 was his go-to i just love that like you get i've this, been like, waiting for 10 years to play civ 6 again it's so it's or so not. human it's just like this revolution technology like what are games. you gonna do first i'm just gonna fucking game all night <laughs> Mm -hmm. and that is oh, what yeah. we would do <laughs> every life extension uh rehabilitation in my old age is going towards playing video games <laughs> i mean what else are you gonna do you're like hanging out in the old folks home, home you got tvs that book. are like strapped to your face you just like what let's you go do? watch reruns or play video games video games yeah are you gonna just <clears throat> play bridge for the four thousandth time because <laughs> uh either like you have to have your sight your hearing, mm, you could forego that, because most games are based on on sight. You could get a, yeah. you know, ninety five percent. You can pass, do fine with just sight. Hearing, hearing only games, that's a small pool, but yeah. there are some um, games where you could play without sight or hearing. You could have force feedback games. They'd be very limited. <laughs> and what, what my dream is to play those games yeah. that are like farming heavy and those are some <laughs> asshole teenagers. And it's like, dude, I got nothing to do but this shit. You got school. You have life. Yep. And when you're old, you sleep for like four hours. I'll just be crushing. Oh I'll, be, I'll have so much like whatever the you like new MMO hop is. Hop on I'll the just... newest one and just put in from z hour zero 24 just obliterate 24 everybody and they'll be just like and i'll just mock all the teenagers <laughs> for being like you have your whole life ahead of you i got i got my whole life ahead of me which That's is right. this. <laughs> nothing but time you have to go to school i don't i don't i'm i'm farming I'm during the night a, i'm fed with a tube i don't even need to <laughs> Dude, stop for food i've got multiple screens going out multiple accounts <laughs> oh yeah you guys I'm don't trading stand between a, myself you, you don't stand a chance kids <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my 80 year old plans <laughs> yeah oh without sight dark mazes everywhere oh god oh, that's, that's a right. nightmare yeah you could have force feedback you could go through a maze and have force feedback when you hit the walls and it'd be like going through a dark maze and you could have uh monsters would vibrate when they're oh, close yeah. by that's interesting not many people have made um audio only games for like the 2600 and we played a couple on yeah. the show and i'm always fascinated by them there's, there's apparently some crazy games out there like one that is gameplay's blinking so you like have this yes. thing and you like blink and your blink will like affect the game there's so oh, much cool wow. potential for like hey justin's back especially if you were like <laughs> older and there's things like doing like a rock and this the blinking games like, yes you know why not yeah yeah that's great um so we're done for today uh thanks for hanging out with yeah, us thanks everyone um we'll be back on tuesday so everybody have a great weekend this is Atari, Atari. And the other and cat who's a uh, black cat. He's not in here right now. He's in the Sprite. And we bet on who can devour treats faster by pushing yes. a bell. So rewind and watch the show about mm, maybe like half, a, 45 minutes in. Something like that. You'll yeah, see tree time and yeah, the view will change. The, they ring bells for treats. They do. And the lore is, is that Atari's number one when I'm here. Yeah. And so if so, you, if I'm on the show, bet on Sprite. This is all the, in on Sprite three plus. And I've yeah I've never seen him win once. I w I even lurk in the chat sometimes, <laughs> and even when I'm lurking in the chat, just wrecks it. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I won't I'll, I won't let people know. <laughs> except I'll I should I should message Thrust and let him know if I'm on. It's just <laughs> That's to like, right. <laughs> oh there yeah, we there go. Thanks yeah. so much, Dan ABC. And yeah, Thrust. I'll I'll give you the insider scoops if I'm if I'm lurking. That's all right. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's us. Yeah, there we are. Um. Thanks for hanging out, Dan. If you see, I am Justin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thrust, Vitoko, Al Nefer. Thank you for letting us debut uh, your amazing new technology. Oh yeah, man! Oh my so god, I can't sick. wait to see the future of that. Uh, We're definitely hanging out in the den again. Oh yeah. 
Polygox, Atari Warlord, Splendid Nut. Thank you for making Frogger. Looking forward to enhancements coming. Atari I'll Warlord. be working on my game this weekend. Uh, I'll be rearranging some code, adding some, fixing some bugs. It's right now. It's rearranging code because it's a mess. It's just spaghetti. It's all over the place. I'm like checking things three times yeah, yeah, when I don't yeah. need to do that. Uh, Polygox. Uh, who else? Ivory Tower Collections. Crunchy the Clown, Pseudographics, Leandro Camera, thank you as well for letting us debut your game, world debut, world premiere of your game. Uh, Poira? Poira Bit? Poira Bit? Poira Bit? I don't know how to say that. I'll learn. Uh, Beef Supreme 7. Uh, T Shack 909, thanks for coming in and uh, talking about the uh, uh, Fujinet card. So awesome. And who else? And uh, Mark Yanis right at the top, and everybody else who is lurking. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. 21% done now. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's hard to measure. <laughs> It's more like a 22%. Maybe, I think. Yeah, I think I'm hitting the maybe, 22. Maybe a 21.5%? No, yeah. no, 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 well, no, 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 five, no. I've still, I've still got it on the roadmap is that 0.5. It's probably oh. in a two days I'll hit that 0.5. Okay, anyway. yeah, we'll get to the 0.5. We try to be nice, guys. <laughs> um, so we'll be here back on uh, Tuesday. He'll be back in two weeks. Sounds good. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great Bye. weekend, Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.